Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Hope you guys are ready to have a lot of fun today because I sure am. I've been looking forward to today for a while now. I can't wait to get this started. Um, so what are we doing today? Today we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. That's right, St. Patty's Day 2020. All right? You already know what's up. Um, now, I'm not a big, uh, huge drinker. You know, I'm a huge guy. You know what I mean? Not, not, not a huge drinker. And uh, But still, you know what I mean? Uh, I've helped many people celebrate this throughout the years. And I know a lot of you guys love celebrating this. So I said, well, why not have a St. Patty's Day episode? I mean, it is on a Thursday. I already doing the show. You already know. Okay, so what are we making today? Before we get started, we're making some Irish stew. Now, we're making it with beef. I saw that there's many variations to it, all right? And, uh, you know, I saw that the beef was a major, you know what I mean, uh, ingredient here. I know some people are saying venison or sheep or whatever, you know what I mean? All these other, you know, animals out there. But I went, I decided to go with beef, all right? For many reasons, right? So we're gonna go with beef. And we're just gonna make a, uh, I, in fact, it's uh, Irish stew because I'm putting some Guinness in it. All right, I could call it Guinness stew. Maybe I should, I don't know, whatever. Maybe I'll change my mind. Let's see how I feel later. Anyways, but it's gonna be a Guinness Irish stew. Well, you're like, bro, you're Mexico, aren't you? That's right, I am. I was able to get Guinness out here. That's right, why? Because people drink a lot of beer out here. You know, so that's good. So it was, it was easy to find. So, thank God. So I got some beers, all right? You know, we got some Guinness, we're gonna drink it. We're gonna make some green beer with some other beer, and then we're also gonna, you know, use the Guinness to make the Irish stew. We're also gonna make some Colcannon. What is Colcannon? Well, again, you know, it's just uh, mashed potatoes with a crunched up leprechaun in it. We're gonna get a leprechaun, we're gonna cook the guy, and, um, you know, grind them up, and then throw them in the mashed potatoes, and you get Colcannon. Bruh. Or something like that. And then we're gonna make some Irish donuts. But anyways, if you wanna hear more, let me just roll the intro real quick. Make sure we're running all over the place. Hope you guys are ready for some fun because I'm ready for some fun. I've already been having a lot of fun. And uh, once uh, we get back from the intro with this, like about a minute or two, we'll start the cooking. Let's do this.
Hey, hey, hey. So how's it going, guys? Hope you guys are ready to rock and roll. Um, I see David's already out there. I see Lambo's out there. I see uh, amputees out there. That's right. So I brought the Guinness out, so you see I'm not joking. <laughs> Still getting my apron on. But yeah, you know, we're about to get started. You know, we're about to, to see what's up out here. All right. And, uh, you know, today it's just uh, very simple. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, I, it's hard to get some of these ingredients out of here because, uh, you know, it's Irish and I'm in Mexico. Um, but I think most of the stuff, you know what I mean, this was pretty easy to get in a sense. You know I mean, it wasn't really that, uh, that big of a deal. Um, but regardless, um, Guinness, you know, I'm glad we got that. All right. Now we're going to put it away. We're just going to get started. You already know. We're going to get into it. We're not going to waste too much time. All right. So let's, uh, let's pop the helicopter helicopter oh oh shout out to who was that thank you thank you <laughs> i'll see you in a second i'll see you in a second shout out to everybody out there much appreciated Oh, okay, I got it. I got the email notification. I got it. <laughs> but anyways, all right, so yeah, let's see. You got me all distracted, man. I appreciate it, though. Thank, thanks. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta pay more attention to that. I gotta get that, uh, figure that out there. Oh, there it is, see? Let's see it. Chance coming in with the hamster. All right, anyways. Coming in with Sonic. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. But yes, by the way, I'm going to be making a major... Let me just say it now. I'm going to be making a major transition, okay? We're going to move this whole thing, all right, eventually to Twitch, all right? So from... I mean, not now, but going forward soon, like in a month or two... We're working a bunch of things out. We know we're gonna get into it. This is like the first major announcement, um, but we are gonna be moving straight to Twitch. What do I mean by that? Well, eventually, the live streams you're only gonna be able to see them on Twitch. That's it. Now, on the other platforms, you know, like let's say Facebook or YouTube, especially YouTube, I'm gonna be uploading the already live performance. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing, all right? But that's, you know, a, a few months down the line. It's just because of the weird rules and all this other stuff that, that Twitch has. But you know what? This is a very, very, very new thing here. And um, we're, we're gonna try and, uh, you know, see if we can maximize, you know, the impact that we can make here. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do. So we're gonna be focusing, you know, again, not yet, but soon, you know what I mean? Um, on Twitch and we're gonna go from there so you know if you can you know go on ahead and make a Twitch account at your leisure and uh, you know start you know getting used to that you know what I mean that'd be great because by the time that we go full tilt on Twitch you'll already be OG on Twitch and you'll know what's up and you can teach others you know what Twitch is and all that but basically Twitch is just like YouTube it's the same thing you can either go to the website you know just like youtube.com and watch it there you know, twitch.com, watch me there. Or you can download the app if you have a tablet or your phone or whatever. Just like you have the YouTube app, you download the Twitch app and the same thing. In fact, what's really good about it is that, for example, let's say that you gotta do something else. Let's say you're watching me on Twitch and you gotta do something else on the phone. Oh, shout out to you. Thanks again. <laughs> have you seen any rainbows or gold pots today? Have I seen any rainbows? No, no rainbows yet. Um, but definitely a lot of pot. Gold pots, is that what you said? Um, definitely a lot of gold pots. Hey, shout out to you. Yeah, I'll see you in a second, whatever. <laughs> I got double action. But yeah, yeah, so that's the whole point. As you see, you know what I mean? There's a lot. Um, I just want to see who. That was Chance again. Shout out to you. <laughs> but anyways. Um, hey, what was I saying? Yeah, I, gotta, I, gotta, I think I got to put the chat here. And then this here. But anyways, I'm gonna get started on the cooking. But just back, yeah, long story short, we're gonna move over there. So anyway, shout out to Chance, shout out to Daniel. You know, uh, thank you, thank you, hi everyone. Sampy St. Patrick's Day. Laugh out loud. 
but yeah, you know what I mean? We're going to be moving it over there full tilt, you know, full, you know? Um, this is just, it's more fun, man. Like on Twitch, it's a lot more fun. It's a lot better for interaction, you know what I mean? Where I can interact with you. I got to just get the whole, I got to switch these two guys around, but you know, whatever. But I can't do it right now. Well, anyways, thank you, Hanson. Thank you, brothers. Come on over. But yes, I'm telling you, um, you don't have to do it now. You know, you can do it whenever, you know what I mean, in time. But like I said, it's basically the same thing. And, um, like, oh, yeah, you can be using... All right, so let's, uh, let's just get to cooking first. I'm already wasting... Wasting all this time over here. So we want to start getting the meat. You know what I mean? We want to... We want to get that meat, Bruh. you know? We got the meat, we got the potatoes, we got the celery. We got the carrot, we got the leek, we got the onion, we got the garlic, we got it all. We got it all. But anyways, but yeah, you know what I mean? Um, what was, uh, yeah, you know, um, what I was saying about Twitch is that, you know, on YouTube, let's say you're listening to something or watching something and then you gotta go to another app, let's say, whatever app, any other app, um, and, and you just lose connection, you know what I mean? Well, you can actually still listen, you know, and still watch while you're using another app if you're watching me on Twitch, so. I don't know if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So that's a plus. So you know where you don't miss any part of the show if you just got to go and do a quick Google search or if you got to answer a what's a message, a text message, or if you got to just check your bank account, you know, to make sure that, you know, you have, uh, you know, a um, dollar fifty in your account because you probably have just a dollar like fifty five and you want to just make sure that it anyways. So shout out to everybody out there. Much appreciated. Okay, so let's get into it. So we will be making today the wonderful, the magnificent Irish dish stew. Okay, first thing we're going to do. I don't know. I don't know how to do an Irish accent. I'm sorry. Oh man, you hear that? I think it's uh, the Leprechaun Brigade, man. I better. Sh you heard them? I don't know if you heard them out there. They're coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But remember, I kidnapped. I got a little leprechaun down here. You know, we're gonna grind them up later. We're gonna so you make that Colt cannon. You know, that green mashed potato. He's in there. We're gonna we're gonna do that later. All right. So stay tuned. All right. So. What is all right. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're just gonna get some oil, some sort of fat. You know something in there yeah anything all right i'm gonna get the meats it's all about the meats and again man you know you don't gotta get all fancy here you know what i mean like literally just uh go right on the head throw it in there we can season it once it's in there it's not a big deal Shout out to everybody out there. So, now we're just gonna start seasoning this bad boy. Let's uh, let's bring it over there so you guys can see what's going on. Nope, wrong camera. Wait, ah. Uh, there, all right. Salt, you gonna get some salt in there. We're gonna get some pepper. Then 
gonna mix it up. Okay, this is the very traditional leprechaun way, okay? This is the way of the leprechaun. Okay. Back here, we got some water, all right? That's right. And uh, that is for mashed potatoes. I mean, for the potatoes that we're gonna be mashing later. Okay, so add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and you remember what we did yesterday. We're going to do a very similar thing here, but not take it all the way. So what we're going to do now is just cook this until it was like, you know, we, you know, we cook out the liquid, and then we're going to add the other stuff. In the meantime, we can get the other vegetables ready. All right, so we're going to now go on ahead and do that while this thing just rides back here just right right all right so let me get a container just keep an eye can you please keep an eye on my meat por favor and which i don't want no one uh taking my meat anywhere i don't want it to go you know what i'm saying Bruh. Okay. so we got the meat back there now what we're gonna do by the way thanks again chance Thanks again, Hanson. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, okay? Well, actually, I'm gonna leave one out because I forgot we're gonna use it for the stew. Um, but shout out to you, brother. You know what I mean? He's uh, my better half, you know, uh, when it comes to the podcast. He's the other, the other half of the podcast. Um, you know, he was it was uh, helping me out there. We were testing out the, the the donation thing. So yes, it works. So, but anyways, we're gonna be doing uh, some carrots. We got some, just a little celery here. In fact, I don't. I think we're just gonna go with one, one, one carrot. We'll leave the other carrot for for something else. Okay. So we're gonna just get some carrots. We're gonna get some some of this celery. All right. We're gonna get an onion. Onion. Okay. We're gonna dice all this up. So I got this plate here because we're gonna put the meat here. All right. Once uh, you know we move on to the next step. Okay. So let's just start getting these veggies ready. But anyways, shout out to you guys out there. Much appreciated. But anyways. Um, see you uh, if you um, tonight. You know we. Um, are, I'm gonna be live doing the podcast every Monday and Thursday night. I also have a podcast. Again, that's mainly what I'm focusing on is uh, the cooking. You know, uh, this this show, this program, this thing I'm doing over here, this program, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and uh, and the podcast. You know, and they're both for fun. And um, yeah, you know we're rolling with it, and uh, so far so good. This is the most fun I've had in like the longest time. So we're going to keep going with this. But yes, you know, check out the podcast again every Monday and Thursday night at 9 Eastern. 9 Eastern. You can also listen to the podcast later on at your leisure. Um, your favorite podcasting app. Okay. But anyways, um, but all the links are down below. But as I was saying. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's just us talking crap. That's all it is. There's nothing... You know, nothing revolutionary, but hey, some people like that. It's just like having fun, loose, you know? Anyways, so back to what we were saying, what I was saying, with the leprechaun, shut up, what he was not, not saying, um, was the fact that, yeah, we are moving to Twitch eventually, and uh, I'll explain in a second, you know, I'll explain in a second, let's just watch, watch these guys real quick. And again, I'm not going away from the other platforms. 
because I know that there's people out there and there's value there too. You know what I mean? Um, there's people out there that are watching on the other platforms and they're never going to leave the other platforms. And then, you know, we have, you know, other other uh, people that, you know, will find me. On, on, they'll still find me on YouTube and still find me on other platforms. But at the end of the day, you know, the whole streaming thing is a very, very new thing. This whole thing is a very new thing. And uh, Twitch is leading the way in that department. So it would be, uh, and, you know, the ability to grow there is massive as in comparison to YouTube. So, you know what I mean? It would be, I would be an idiot not to pursue that, especially doing what I'm doing. Um, the more research and the more I get into it, the more I realize, you know, Twitch is the place to be, you know, especially doing what I'm doing as, as far as I can see. Um, again, you know, other content will go on the YouTube and Facebook channels and all that, but as it comes to this, yeah, man, you know what I mean? I think, okay, so we're going to dice this up, okay? Now, it's going to be a different dice, okay? So I'm just going to cut the carrot in half and then cut it again. And that's the thing. So right now, just talking about life or, you know, the moves ahead, whatever, I can do this on Twitch a lot easier. You know, people are more used to that as opposed to on, on YouTube where on YouTube people just want, like, the recipe, you know? Or whatever. Nothing wrong with that. But it's just like, it's a different thing. And... So yeah, you see we're just getting like little chunks. Chunk, 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 eh? Alright. Let me uh, kind of take the chat out there uh, for a minute. You guys can see a little bit better there, right? There you go. And, uh, but anyways, so, yeah, you know, we're still figuring it out, what we're going to be doing. But, like, I think Twitch is the way to go, and, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? It'll be awesome, you know what I mean? To see you guys there, because you guys, you know, will be able to chat with me live, hang out with me live, and, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot more fun. Because the thing is that, even on the other platforms, I get censored, man. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but even my cooking content gets censored. Like, it does, you know what I mean? Which is insane. Other cooking channels that I watch that are just basically PG or G-rated cooking or food stuff, they're getting censored. I mean, and on YouTube, and nobody's getting, there's, the censorship on, on, on Twitch is completely different. And um, you can really basically do almost anything you want, just like YouTube used to be. Twitch is kind of taking over what used to, YouTube used to be, I think, you know? But on a different level. And, um... So, it's like, no way, fuck that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, you know, I don't want to be censoring my, my content, you know what I mean? Or anything like that, and watching what I say, and how I say it. I just want to have fun, man, and enjoy it. And, uh, and that's the thing, so. And I don't want to be worried about any of those things. You know what I mean? I just want to, you know. And again, Twitch is not a small company, you know? They're a huge company, and they're owned by Amazon. I know, they sound like a commercial for fucking Twitch. You know, by the way, if you're listening out there, Twitch people, you know, help help me out, help brother out. But uh, but yeah, man, you know what I mean? I see the potential. And I see I see the there's a make me partner, or make me associate, or make me whatever. Which, by the way, that's what I'm working on, which shouldn't take too long. Especially if I, you guys get if I get a little help from you guys by you know if you guys watch or follow me on Twitch, you know what I mean? That would help a lot. Like if you really want to help the show, help me. Don't give me a donation. You know, follow me on Twitch and, and let's build that Twitch community. Trust me, it's a lot more fun. All right, let's go to the meat. Now you're gonna be looking at that meat and you're gonna be like, oh man, this guy burnt that shit. No, I don't, I don't burn that, sir. But as you guys can see here, look at that. It's like brownie, and there's like no more of that liquid anymore. Look at that, magic. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna keep kind of like cooking this, you know what I mean? Let it brown some more. Just a little bit more, and then, you know, we'll add the veggies in there. And the veggies, 
you know, they are going to help kind of like start the deglazing process or whatever. You know, we're going to get all that yumminess that's going to go in there. Okay, so now let's get some garlic. All right. Some garlic from the Galix. Right? I don't know. Is that right? Did I say that right? I think, yeah, look at this. Just three. three little heads of garlic. Shout out, hey, how's it going, Noemi? Shout out to you. Como estas? Hope, espero que te todo bien. Hope all is good. Uh, but yeah. Keep making some Irish stew. Um, but yeah, so that's the whole plan. I mean, so today we're going to be making again. Let's get throw, go through the menu real quick. You know, again, we're making some Irish stew. Look, this is just basically beef stew, okay? It's not co that complicated. You know what I mean? And uh, we're going to just make the, the mashed potatoes. That's going to be something very different that I've never had, which is, again, leprechaun green mashed potatoes. And, um, but, and I've never had this beef stew before either. Usually when I make my beef stew, I, I like to deglaze or cook it with wine or maybe even regular beer. I've used that, but I've never made it with Guinness. In fact, I haven't had a Guinness in a long time. So this is going to be fun and interesting. Oh, man, you know what I just realized? Man, I'm sad. I just realized I don't think I have any mushrooms left. I don't, I don't have any mushrooms. I used all of them up. I, was gonna, I wanted to put some mushrooms in this, but whatever. It's okay. We'll be okay. Christian says hi, everybody. Hello. 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 <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get back to the the meats. All right, let's go uh, check out my meat, por favor. Let's go check that out. So again, you know, <laughs> we're caramelizing uh, the meats. Time, I'm gonna start. Uh, we're, we're almost there, but we, we can still work on something else. All right, so we gotta peel these potatoes. I'm gonna leave one potato left here. You know, we're gonna cut that in a second. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one for the stew. But I'm gonna use these four to the, for the mashed potatoes. Is uh, you know the meat is uh, caramelizing. So we got the meat caramelizing at the moment. Okay, so we're almost at the point in which I want to take out the meat. You got Gizmo over here on the side, you know, and licking his chaps. <laughs> He's like, feed me. I want some. I want. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's get into the thing over here. Okay. Okay. So now, when 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 I'm starting to see a little bit of. Uh, you know, like it's almost starting to stick a little bit. All right, almost. Not yet, not yet. Almost there. But anyways, that, that, that's when I take it off. So I'm waiting a little bit longer. Almost there. Maybe another minute or two. And back here we got the water. Well, the, the water. <laughs> we got the warm water ready. All right, so we can start working on that. Um... For the potatoes, you know, so I mean, it's boiling, so we're gonna put the potatoes in there. Right? Not yet. 
got to do the potatoes. But yeah, I don't want to keep my. The thing is that I can do other things, but I don't want to. I want to keep my eye on this for a minute. I want to make sure that um, this doesn't burn because we're right there, you know. So um, no, no hurry. We got nowhere to go. We're just hanging out here. Fucking leprechaun. Bruh. Anyways. Yeah, like again, for those of you who don't know, we're making some green mashed potatoes. And um, I got myself a real, a real leprechaun. And we're gonna blend him up and we're gonna use him for the food color, okay? Okay, so you see now, you see like when I go with the wooden spoon, it's not, it's, it's like stuck a little bit. Okay, so now, now is when you take it out. Ow. Bruh. All right, now, now you take out the meat. You take out that meat. Okay. The marvelous vegetables. Look at that. Oh wait, that was the wrong sound effect. Hold on. Uh, was it this one? Maybe? Yes. dry in there those are that's pretty dry so we gotta wet it up you know we gotta get that nice and wet you know we're gonna just throw some oil <laughs> all right get that going next we're gonna add some salt next we're gonna add some pepper Mix it all up. So, what's going to happen here? As the vegetables, you know, release their liquids, you know, um, that liquid is going to help deglaze the pan. All right, and you're going to see all that stuff that was stuck. Hold on, I gotta. All that stuff that was stuck. To the bottom will now magically become unstuck. She's like, smells like shrimp. The fuck it went. Bueno, creo que es la la salsita que usan para el shrimp igual. Creo que es el ajo. Yeah. Oh, you mean like the shrimp sauce? Is it? Oh, okay. Never mind. Not the shrimp. She says it's, it tastes like it smells like something. Uh, that I made with shrimp, with shrimp. Never mind. Okay, forget it. You know, my English no so good sometimes, you know? No understand. Okay, anyways. Bruh. Shout out to Barb. Shout out to everybody out there. What's up? No, wrong sound effect. <laughs> but anyways, okay, shout out to everybody out there watching. All right, so as you guys can see, let's uh, bring it back, all right, to the, the helicopter cam. All right, let's zoom in a little bit more. Thank you, thank you. All right, so as you guys can see, you know, we, we can literally also do this, you know what I mean? We're just scraping the pot with these veggies, you know, because these veggies are now wet. You see, look, look at that liquid that they've released. All right, so we're just gonna get all that off the side. Because, you know, otherwise, if you just keep leaving it there, it could burn, and it's still going to get in the stew. It's still going to get in the, the beef stew. But why not just uh, see if we can just get in there now? 
You know, get that. But you see, look, all of a sudden, like, the, the pot is just magically cleaning itself. You know what I mean? As we braise these yummy vegetables. You know? Look at that. I'm just scraping my hard carrot up against this. You know, if you rub it enough, you see? If you rub it enough with the carrot, it just it just comes off like Bruh. You know? So yeah guys, like I was saying earlier, if you guys are really enjoying this content, um, I would start learning about Twitch and um, so you can watch me live. Otherwise, this what I'm like I said, you know, what I'm not gonna be able to do soon in the future. Once I get my partnership or affiliated or whatever with, with Twitch, big Twitch colors, anyways. <laughs> um, I'm only gonna be able to live stream on Twitch. And the best I'm gonna be able to do is um, upload the episode after I stream it to Facebook or YouTube, okay? So just FYI, within a month or two, probably a month, within a month, we're gonna be going only to Twitch and only on Twitch. So just please, if you can watch me on Twitch now, great. If you can start getting an account there now, great, even better. You know what I mean? So you can start getting used to it, start being an OG over there. It's basically the same thing as Facebook. I mean, same thing as YouTube, same thing, only better. Especially for, basically only better for streaming. You, Twitch is just for streaming, okay? Um, and again, if you're on your phone or tablet, download the app. If you're on your desktop, you can just go to the website and that's it. It's the same thing. All right, but anyways, just start getting over there because we're gonna you're gonna want to want to see if you're gonna want to see this live and interact with me live and hang out with me live. What's up, Connie? What's up, Taylor? Where them taters at? We got them taters right here. I got about the biggest pair you ever seen. Bruh. <laughs> but anyways, see things like that get censored on YouTube. You know, like believe it or not. Well, on, on Twitch, it's commonplace. You know. So, just many, 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 many levels to this. All right, so what we're now doing is that we're gonna be repeating the same process that we did with, um, um, with the meat, okay? We're now, we're gonna do the same thing, you know, meaning we're gonna build flavor there, you know, meaning we picked up all the flavor from the pan, we're gonna now cook them, you know, kind of eliminate some of that water, once it starts kind of like sticking, aching a little bit or getting a little bit like that, that's when we brrr, move to the next step. And again, it's like, it's dance. You know, we're dancing here. All right. All right. Oh, I don't know. I went off camera. I forgot what the hell. Where, where, I, where was I going to go? Bruh. <laughs> but anyway, shout out to everybody out there. Yeah, I mean, look, the link is down below, and you can give it a try right now. Down below in the description of this video, wherever you're watching, you will find the link to Twitch where you can watch me now. You can just click on it, watch me there, and see, and take a look, you know, take, give it a shot, give it a try. You know what I mean? Like I said, you'll, you're, you know, you'll be able to watch me on, on YouTube, but you're not going to be able to watch me live, all right? And um, like I said, you know, like right now on Twitch, I'm on the first page, second page, you know what I mean? We're, it's that early. But on YouTube, I'm in. I'm. I'm. I'm just a little guppy in the sea of gazillions, you know. And Twitch, at least when it comes to like things, things like this, is still, you know, um, it, it's putting front and center things like this. While I, I get lost with all the other cooking videos on YouTube. You, you know what I mean? So, YouTube is amazing. It's great, you know, for a quick video on food or a recipe or whatever. But not necessarily to discover or find this kind of content. You know what I mean? So, but on Twitch is the other way around. And in fact, if you really love food, I think you watch Twitch and you're gonna be like, wow, this is awesome. This is, you're gonna find, just go to the food section or whatever and you're gonna find, you're gonna see, and you're gonna see, and there's all kinds of arts and crafts. There's people that's, that are sewing, there's people that are playing music, there's people that are doing exactly this, but with other arts and crafts and other things. So you're gonna, you're gonna see, I'm telling you, man, like that's, that's the future. That's where we're going. So, again, if you can follow, if you can follow me, or even watch me on Twitch right now, you know, if I'm, 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 I'm talking to you, Opie. I'm talking to you, Lodak. If you guys can watch me on Twitch now, 
it would be good. It would be awesome because it's like every the more I have people watching, the more whatever you know, it just helps with everything. It's just constant. Because right now, if I got like four viewers, all right, on Twitch, all of a sudden I'm towards the top, and now anyone just clicking on there will find me, and then all of a sudden the numbers just jump quicker. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. I don't know. There's like self promotion. You know what is this? You know St. Patty's Day. <laughs> <laughs> all right so now here we go we're moving on to the next step all right so as you can see there step number dos we have reached uh the point all right in which uh you know it's almost starting to stick a little bit here all right so what are we going to do now we're going to add a little bit of flour all right because this is what's gonna help make the stew stew. You know what I mean? This is, uh, we're now, this is Sanje. Okay, this is a technique called Sanje, French. But basically what we're doing, that's it, not a lot, just enough, a little bit. So what this does is that this now kind of mixes with the fat, you know, AKA the olive oil that we added in there and the beef fat and whatever else. And um, now we're making a little mini roux with flavor, all right, that's a roux with flavor. You see it's starting to stick a little bit to the bottom and all that, so like, okay, so now, now it's starting to stick a little bit to the bottom there, you see? Now, at this point, that's what we deglaze. And what are we gonna deglaze with in this case? You guessed it. So let's hurry it up here. All right, look at that. Magic. Just you could dump that whole thing in there. That's right. That's right. All right. So now with that beer in there, what are we, what's going to happen? It's going to help deglaze. Actually, you know what? I messed up, man. I forgot to add something before that, but it's okay. We can do it now. It's not a big deal. We gotta add some tomato. This is this one? Yes. I'm gonna add a little tomato. I should have added this a little bit before, but it's okay. No big deal. Alright, we got that. So the Guinness, now, you know, what we're going to do with the Guinness is, again, now we have a lot of liquid in there. We got some acid from that tomato. And now we're going to cook that Guinness a little bit, all right? We're going to boil that liquid. Boil. Again, it's not like boil the alcohol out or anything like that. No, no, no. We just, you know, we want to cook it a little bit, you know what I mean? To help, uh, we got to get to the next step. Again, well, as we cook it, you see what we're doing here, where we're deglazing the pan as well. We're doing double duty, all right? Okay, see, like the bottom, look at, I don't know if you guys can see, I think you guys can see, right? Look at the bottom of the, the pan there. See, it's clean. Wait, hold on. There you go, you see it? I don't know if you guys, well, whatever, but anyway, it's just clean. Okay. And that's because we're deglazing, okay? And so the the beer is also a base, you know, like the major base to this uh, stew that we're making today. All right, so now at this point, you know, now we're gonna add a simple bay leaf. All right, we're gonna add some more pepper. to come to a boil. Now let me uh, put this here, it'll help it. We got the water back there. Add some time. Now 
Um, anyway, shout out to everybody out there. Well, there we go. We got everybody coming in. Hey, Connie's a looks yummy. Thank you, thank you. Never heard of Twitch. Okay, cool, cool. Right here. I got a text a few hours ago saying your package was delivered. Listen to Twitch, but interact on YouTube. Oh, thank you, Opie. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a better experience also on Twitch. It's uh, the, it's less of a, it's less of a delay. You know, basically, you leave a message and I see it like in five seconds. You know, not thirty or for a minute. You know, not thirty seconds to a minute. You know. No, I'm gonna let it cook out for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, not a lot, not a lot. I mean, the thing is that look, that's another. You know what? We're gonna. I'm gonna wait for it to boil a little bit because I want it, you know, to help it move to the next step. Um, but um, yeah, hold on. I was gonna look something up. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's a misconception that people have that you know you basically cook the alcohol out. Not really, not really. You know what I mean? A lot of times, uh, you know, when you burn the alcohol out, in some cases, let's say you're doing a flambe, what have you. Yeah, yeah, most of the alcohol is gonna you're burning it off. Um, but a lot of times, no. Like you know, you put that beer in there and the beer's in there. You do like a rum cake. That's rum in there. You know what I mean? So in a lot of cases, the the alcohol still stays in there. You know what I mean? Um, maybe you'll lose some of it, but not all of it. Not all of it. So in this case with the beer, you know what I mean? Like, no, it, it, it'll, you know, remain. But remember, it's a stew. So, and beer, you know what I mean? It's not really that much alcohol content per se. You know what I mean? So, you know, what's, you know what is most people going to really have? Let's say they have two plates of stew. How much beer is that? That's like a quarter cup of beer. You know what I mean? Come on. Give me a break. Bruh. Yeah, man up, right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but still, but yeah, yeah. But a lot of people didn't, I didn't know that. Like, I learned that. I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, I just want to make sure I got all the ingredients in. Okay. Pretty, pretty easy. I'm just gonna add a little oregano. Yeah. Keep it simple. There we go. We're back to boiling iron, so let's bring it back helicopter mode. But yeah, and again, you see, uh, you can thank you, Opie. I see you there. I saw you there. I saw you on Twitch. Just a little bit of oregano. That's it. Just a little bit. You know what I mean? The thing is that the beer in this case is uh, the major. You know the flavor player here, you know what I mean? And a little bit, you know, this is not in the recipe, but I'm just gonna add it in there because I feel it's appropriate. A little Worcestershire sauce, right? But I don't know, it's Irish stew. Yeah, what, who gives a fuck? You know, people drink Budweiser today, you know, with green fucking, you know, like, <laughs> you guys are, Bruh. <laughs> yo mama, what's up, yo mama? Yo mama in the house. Who's mama? Yo mama. Alright, so look at that. Look at that base. It's all about the base. Boom, 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 boom. No, 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 no. The base. The, the base. Of... Okay. So now we're gonna, speaking of base, you know, we're gonna add our favorite, our favorite chicken base, chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon. Well, actually, not chicken. That's beef bouillon. Sorry, beef, beef bouillon. Correction. A little correction there. But, anyways. And what do I like using beef bouillon, man? You know, we're gonna go through it real quick, you know, because all these, everybody, all the cooks out here are always like, oh, use beef stock. You better have beef stock. You better have chicken stock. But who the fuck, you know what I mean, has that shit lying around? You know what I mean? Like, honestly, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, like it's nice to have. I, I agree, it's great, it's a far superior, it's better, but you know what? You know, for the common cook, I think like 90% or more of the people cooking around the world, beef base, beef bouillon. Now, if you're health conscious and shit like that, you know, whatever, and you don't want to use uh, that one, you know, like the store brand, chemical brand or whatever, that's fine. You know, you don't like MSG, sure, no problem. Go on ahead and, um, and outsource, you know, there's tons of uh, um, organic or really, 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 really good beef bases, chicken bases that are freaking phenomenal. Use that. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, again, in 90% of all kitchens out there, or more, that's what they use. You know what I mean? The fancier the restaurant, the fancier the bouillon. Now, the only places they're making their own stock are few and far in between, all right? And probably you've only gone to one of those or two of those restaurants in your life, all right? Most places use some sort of processed, you know, not processed, again, you know, it, it processed, you know, we're pro we process these vegetables and meat to make a stew. So when you think processed, oh, don't think, automatically bad you know what I mean like oh processed meat processed whatever but 
Anyways, there's a little context on that. Okay, so we've cooked this enough. I mean, we're not, you know, we're not trying to cook out the whole Guinness, you know what I mean? Um, we just wanted to, you know, just cook a little bit. Now we're gonna go on ahead and add the meat, you know? We're gonna go on ahead and uh, make sure to look at our meat. Okay, make sure it's, uh, we got some good meat in our hands and then we're gonna dump it in there. All right, let's do that. Let's go on ahead and stop playing with our meat. Bruh. Look at that, we got the meat and those meat juices that have been provided by the meat. All right. So now we will stir in the meat into the pot. This hot spoon because I left it here like an idiot. Yeah, try not to leave like your spoon hanging like that. That's you know you're gonna burn yourself like you're it's gonna be hot. Anyways, see it's already getting not thick, but you know it's already kind of doing its thing. All right, we got a lot of yummy deliciousnesses in here. All right, look at that nice thick gravy we got already. All right, but but we still gotta cook. We still got a lot to go. Remember that meat. We are poor Irishmen, okay? And um, all right, scene, scene, end scene. <laughs> what is it? Um, wait, start, begin scene. You know, you are some poor Irishman and you got some really cheap cuts of meat, okay? So we got to cook the fuck out of it, all right? So that's why we're starting that now. Let's go on ahead and get some water so we can add that. Where do you got the beef face in there? And um, let's just uh, go on ahead and dump it in there. All right, look at that. Did you beat the meat beforehand? No, I did not beat the meat. It was already um, beaten enough. Your mama says, what are you cooking today? I'll stop to tell you in a second. What am I talking about? You have no idea. Oh, but yeah, thank you, I appreciate that. This is thought central. This is suck. All the thoughts in my brains, all the thoughts in my life will be here, okay? It's very thoughts, thoughtful. Okay, so um, we're not gonna mix this bad boy. Mix it, mix it, mix it. You know, just to make sure that water that we just poured in there, like an animal, um, incorporates. And that's it. That was pretty easy. You see? That was the wrong sound effect, by the way. Sorry. Bruh. I, meant to, <laughs> I meant to do, uh, which one did I don't even know what the fuck. You know what? Look, this is my brain right now. I failed. Okay, so. This is, uh, I think that's why the Irish stew is like, uh, um, you know, they love it out there because it's so easy to make. You can make it drunk, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's a good thing, you can make it drunk. Um, that's right, that's right. Opie cooks this all the time. Yeah, we, I make this all the time. I make this, uh, a variation of what we just made there all the time here. Um, but we always do a little something different. This is the first time I've made it with Guinness. She's never had, she's never had Guinness. So like I got another I have another Guinness. We're gonna try that later. Alright. Okay, so come this uh, this guy died, so we're gonna let him cool off for a minute. But anyways, yeah, so uh, she's never had Guinness, so we're gonna have Guinness later. Alright, we're gonna try that. Okay. But now what we're gonna do is just start making the mashed potatoes. We'll start getting ready for that. Shout out to everybody on Twitch. You guys, you guys are the best. Thank you. Wait, wrong. Damn it. I'm blind. <laughs> Anyways. So, we're gonna be, like I said, grinding up a leprechaun later. Okay. We're gonna be grinding up a leprechaun, and that leprechaun is what we're gonna be using uh, to make the cult. Cannon? Colcanon? Co Cocannon? I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Does anyone know how to pronounce it correctly? But anyways, it's uh, Colcannon, Colcannon, Colcanon. I don't know what the fuck. I do not speak Irish. I barely speak English. 
Which is it's true. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyway, so, um, but yeah, we're just making some green mashed potatoes. My, shout out to Michael Bolton, um, or Michael Bolton. Shout out to you. Yeah, that was Michael Bolton for a second there. I was like, oh my God, how I say. I was so excited. So yeah, this is the only green uh, I could find. Uh, this hat that I bought when I went to Cuba. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this uh, University of Miami t-shirt. You know, we're just going to cover it up here because uh, it's kind of embarrassing at the moment. Okay, so. Let's, uh, when, when, are they not, when are we not embarrassing? Right? But it's okay. We love Florida. Florida's the best. Okay. So, now what we're going to do um, is just, you know, we got the stew back there, so we're just going to cover this up. All right? I'm going to add some more water to the back there because, like a dumbass, you know, I've been taking my time. Okay, so, all right, let's just get these potatoes. All right, so like I said, I'm saving. I got Gizmo out there yelling at somebody. He's not happy. So anyways, we're, we're gonna, um, in fact, I think, um, let me get the other stuff. Nah, nah that's fine, we'll, we'll work on that later. Let me put it over here. How, how do you guys like my leek? My leek. My leek. Let's see, where I put... Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna peel these potatoes, right? And then after we peel them, we're gonna dump them in... Uh... So we're gonna dump them. And I think we're just gonna wash them and then just stick them whole, right? So. And so, you know, it's just for me and Christian, so I'm not making a lot. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, probably be making, be wise to make a lot more potatoes, right? But. And we're just peeling some potatoes. Connie, shout out to you. Will the vegetables make it through the cooking? The meat that long? No, I'm not. Oh, those vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just added, you know, carrots. You know, um, and I cut them chunky. You know, so yeah. But the potato, I'm adding a potato to the stew. I'll, I'll add that later. Not now. Right now, these are for the mashed potatoes, okay? I'm uh, peeling these potatoes to make mashed potatoes. Um, the mashed taters are the coal cannon, the coal cannon or whatever the hell it's called. Um, it's the same dish. I mean, like, um, they just call it that because, like I said, it has a ground up leprechaun in it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right. Sorry. 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 Bruh. That's the, I know, right? This guy is fucking... Anyways, the lepre that's the leprechaun I caught. <laughs> no. So. Okay. So.
So, oh. You know, it's very hot today, right? Let me know when you want to crack open the beer. <laughs> I'm going to make some green beer. So that's it. We just got these potatoes. We're gonna give them, a, give them a quick little rinse under the water, and we're gonna stick them right under the fire. In fact, I don't even need that much water in here. So let me just get some of this off. Is this fresh water? I can just use that fresh water for something else. So let's uh, just dump these in here, all right? And so the beef stew, all right? I mean, the Irish stew, sorry. The Irish stew is now, um, Doing away, all right. That's it. So it's just uh, just doing its thing, and it's uh, you know. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. Give me a second. Let me reconnect here. Let's reconnect. Yeah, I just wanted to get those potatoes in there, you know, before got any later. smells delicious right it smells so good already beer is really really good to cook with you know I, I enjoy it a lot especially for certain like stews and certain dishes like this beer goes so well so good with it so again this potato I'm just gonna cut into like little pieces and we're gonna add right at the end you know, just because, you know, the stew has to have some little potato in there, right? So. But uh, I'm not putting too much potato in it because, you know, we're already eating it with mashed potatoes. So it's like a lot of starch, you know, starch on starch on starch. So. No need for that. Let's uh, zoom in real quick so you guys can take a look and see where we're at. So look at that. I wish there was some smell of vision so you can smell it. But you see it's very liquidy right now. There's a lot of water in there. And um, you know again that's because we need a lot of the liquid is the vehicle in which we will be cooking this in. You know um, the vehicle the water, the liquid, has all this flavor in it, so it will impact and pour all that flavor into the meat and all this other stuff, so as it cooks. But that's why we cook it like this, as opposed to just boiling by itself. So with that being said, you know, that's why we also add a lot of liquid, because the liquid, as it cooks, it evaporates, and there's less of it. And as it cooks and evaporates, it also concentrates and makes it, you know, a more concentrated flavor. If for whatever reason the flavor is too strong, too concentrated, you know, whatever, you know, salty or anything, you can simply fix it by adding more liquid, more water, okay? And um, that's it. And if for whatever reason, like, um, it's already cooked, you know, um, you know, it's already, you know what I mean? Like, if for whatever reason there's too much water in it, you can simply fix that by cooking it until the water evaporates, which does not take that long, all right? So when you, when you cover it, it helps 
you know, keep, you know, um, the, the, the liquid in there, you know what I mean? Um, because the heat, the steam gets trapped, the, the steam gets trapped in there and therefore it turns into steam, hits the glass, as it hits the glass, it, um, it evaporates, what is it? It turns into water again and it rains back in there. And so you see all that water, you see? Right on top of it, you see? That's the, the juices that are, you know, hitting the thing and then they it go back to the bottom. Now, out of this little slit here, this little slot, you know, that's where you're gonna have the escape happen. All right, but that's a very little comparison to leaving it completely uncovered. So in this case, you know, we don't want all of it to evaporate immediately and quickly. And at the same time, I want it to cook super quick. So this also builds a little pressure, not a pressure cooker, but it builds in a little bit of tiny pressure to help bring it to an even more of a boil. In fact, let me give you a zoom, a zoom in for a minute so you guys can see exactly what I mean. Look at that. Okay, look at the, how much more boiling action you get as opposed to if I were to just leave it like this and then it's gonna start coming down and coming down and coming down. But that's it right there, look how awesomely beautiful that looks. I'm sorry, I haven't zoomed in, my apologies. But I think you get the idea. So you see how much less it's already come down to? Opposed to, if I cover it, you can watch it for a minute. You're gonna see it come to a quick, super fast boil. You see? That's a lesson for today. Wow. All right. So, as you know, first, I know some of you guys already know these things. Some of you guys don't know these things. But we, whatever. I mean, I feel like uh, be nice to like uh, you know give a walkthrough. You know, I mean, that's uh, give you know some some lessons. You know, some people want to know these things. Some people have no idea. So. What we're trying to do here. So shout out to everybody out there. You know, happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> right? Is that like a leprechaun? Is that what they what they do? Right? <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, hey, catch a leprechaun. Hey, get him, get him. Get him back in the back. Get him back in the back. Alright. Jeez. Jesus, this fucking leprechaun. He doesn't want to get ground up. Speaking of which, let's, uh, let's move on to the next thing. Fucking leprechaun. Anyways. No, porque es que lo voy a cocinar, porque eso no quiere. He's like, why is he so hyper? He's like, oh, because we're going to cook him. She, she did not know. So yeah, we're just cutting these little potatoes here. Okay, let me give it this a quick little rinse. Now we're gonna do the leeks, okay? So we're gonna cut the leeks and we're gonna add some greens 
to these mashed potatoes, right? So we gotta get in, get on, man. So we gotta. This is full of dirt, full of sand. You know, these guys are very dirty. You know, these, you can imagine where these things have been. So we're gonna wash them. We're gonna wash them real quick. Now, the thing is that in between these layers, there's a lot of sand, you know, it's an onion. So there's a lot of sand in there. So we gotta get that sand out, okay? Um, but since we're just kind of cooking this, you know what I mean? Um, mostly for, um, you know, for the mashed potatoes and it's kind of gonna get lost in there. Um, you know, we can, you know, we have, okay, we, there's an advantage to us washing it, you know what I mean? There's an advantage to, uh, it's gonna be easier for us to wash. There, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, sorry. Again, you know, my English is not so good sometimes. Okay, so, you know, we're just, I'm just cutting the, kind of like the ugly little tips here, that's it. And it's just really dirty, bad. So dirty. Bad. Okay, so we're gonna now just, you know, we don't, we're not gonna use much of this white, you know, at the end here. Ah, oh, fuck. Oye. Alright, we're gonna try and grow this bad boy. Alright? And we're not gonna use much of the white here, okay? Where it's mostly the green that we want for obvious reasons. Alright? So, we're gonna cut this down the middle. Okay? I think, okay. yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, as you guys can see, all right, we're just gonna chop, chop, chop this, all right? You can see that? Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna wash it, okay? Because we're gonna be cooking this down. I want mostly the green part. Okay. The green. No big deal. And by the way, I'm not throwing any of this away. I reuse everything. I um, I have a garden. Um, whatever's left over um, is either we try to regrow it, we try to regrow it, or we uh, have a compost. Okay, so we have our natural, um, organic, uh, whatever, you know, we're trying to, you know, be, I don't want to say off grid, but you know, we're trying to like, you know, we don't know what could happen. You know what I mean? So we might as well learn how to figure out how to, you know, not just cook the food, but learn how to grow the food too. You know what I mean? So, again, some of these topics are a bit, see, Gizmo's upset. I, I don't blame him. But some of these topics are no-nos already on YouTube. You know, you can't, you can't be talking about like how to survive, how to like be self-sustainable. You know, things like that, you know? If I want to do like a whole pig, I'm not going to be able to show that on, on YouTube. I can only show that on Twitch, you know what I mean? Things like that. No, for reals, you know, I'm serious, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like a whole fucking thing, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I'm not even going to waste my time, you know what I mean? And just uh, move, proceed. So we're going to wash these bad boys, right? We got to wash them. They're very, very dirty. So, so dirty. True, dirty. Dirty little green leprechauns. Okay, so I'm gonna wash these guys. <laughs> wash these little leprechauns. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. She's like, oh, he's like, he's like, is that who you have down there? Do you have the leprechaun from the movie Leprechaun? I'm like, I do. Look, I even got a green rag for you guys today, all right? See? But uh, but yes, the, the leprechaun from the movie Leprechaun is out there. 
Yeah. yeah, that's right, that's right. He's not, the leprechaun that we got captured here, he's not Lucky Charms guy, you know what I mean? He's not that guy. You know, he's the one from, like, the horror movie and shit, you know what I mean? So, just, you know, just, yeah, 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 yeah. So, the bad guy, you know? The bad leprechaun. They're going after any good leprechauns. That's how we got more of those Chernobyl veggies. <laughs> yeah, but remember, Mexico is the only uh, the only country, or one of the only. Well, you know, there's a lot of countries, but you know, uh, one of those one of the big countries, right? That's uh, accepting and still trading with Russia. You know what I mean? So we got all the Chernobyl vegetables out here at a discount. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So let me uh, let's bring the camera over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. But yeah, basically, you see, we got these guys and they're floating in the water here. All right, we're gonna add some baking soda in there. All right, not salt, baking soda. And that baking soda, that's gonna help us, uh, you know, kill any bacteria, uh, clean them out, whatever, and that's it. So, you know, what we're doing is that uh, we're putting them in this water, the solution, for a couple of minutes, just for a little bit. And then uh, that solution, like I said, will help kill anything. And then any dirt or, you know, any kind of uh, residue from those onions, they're going to, that's going to give it enough time for it to float down to the bottom. You follow me? So all the dirt and all that stuff is going to be at the bottom of the bowl. All right. So we're gonna later, later on, once, once it sits here for a minute, then we're just going to scoop it out. Okay. And, uh, and then wash it again, you know what I mean? But and then you're gonna see all the sand and all that on the bottom, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it there for a minute, okay? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, so, you know, today's pretty simple food, guys, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, you know, not, not rocket science. It's... Some of this herb butter, you know, from the chicken Kiev days. We're gonna use some of that. Um, so this is a mix of spinach, arugula, kale. I have some extra kale left over here. I don't want to just use kale, um, but that's what we're gonna use. You know, that um, the leeks. We're gonna cook all that down, and that's you know that's what we're gonna use for the coconut. You know, we're gonna mix that with the leprechaun. Okay, we're gonna add the leprechaun in there. Alright. <laughs> so Bruh. I know you guys think I'm just messing around, but I do have a leprechaun and we're gonna stick him in. Alright, we're gonna get in the book, you know, you'll see. You'll see. So. In fact I have him, he's in here. <laughs> He's in here. All right. So we're gonna add him in there later, okay? But I gotta censor a little bit of it, all right? Because unfortunately, I get the YouTube, you know? It's all the YouTube. I'm gonna try and uh, show you guys as much as I can. But he's, again, he's, he's gonna be part of the... Let me see, I think we're gonna... Let me just use this. I'm gonna go with this bad boy. You know, we're gonna stick him in there. So you guys, have you, anyone out there ever cooked with leprechaun before? Anyone? Anyone? 
Yeah. I've never I've never cooked a leprechaun before, so I'm I've never let's see what the flavor of leprechaun. I wonder if he's gonna grant me any wishes or whatever. Green is my color. No, yes, I love green. That's right. My green is my favorite. I, I mean, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, green is a it's a wonderful color. Yes, I think I agree. I need more green shirts. That's for sure. Right? We need some more green shirts. Un segundo, por favor. Smells delicious. Good now, what are you Sorry guys, we're back, we're back. We are back. All right, so these potatoes, you know, we're just letting them slowly cook. The slower they cook, the better, honestly. Um, because if you cook them too fast, then they just, um, I don't know, they just turn, they get waterlogged or something. I don't know, it's just not, not as good. So, oh, we got a Lambo. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm making the food, bro. I'm making the food. Relax. So I don't even know why I have this butter. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna use some of this butter and let me. Yeah, it's already melting. Let me just stick uh, some pieces in there. So yeah, we're gonna just sauté the leeks. <clears throat> okay. A little butter. We, we're gonna be using this for the coconut later. Oh, actually, no, 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 maybe not. There's some garlic in there. I don't want raw garlic in the mash. We're gonna, that's what we're gonna cook it, so. I just use regular butter. All right, but I'm just throwing a little, <laughs> just throwing a little oil in there. And yeah, that's freaking leprechaun, man. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways. I know, I know. No, don't worry. It's okay. It don't, it don't, no, the, 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 what is it? The broom keeps falling down or whatever. That's just making the noise, you know? It feels like someone's getting shot. Um, but it's fine. It doesn't bother me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm already used to, I'm from the hood. I'm from, again, Miami. That's like normal. You know, just fucking just dodging bullets. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to be doing here, um, not yet, but eventually we're going to be moving. Um, I'm just giving it a couple minutes, you know, I'm just waiting a, a few minutes uh, for the, the green onions to do their thing. In the meantime, if there's anyone watching out there, I don't know if anyone's watching. Let me see. Yeah, just waiting for the for the green onions to like disinfect or what have you. You know, just give it another like minute. But yeah, we're gonna in here. Um, we're just gonna blend it up, all right? Just uh, this uh, you know, it's a leprechaun small. He'll fit in here. It's not a lot. So, at 
this point, you know, just a few minutes into it, now we're gonna go on ahead and clean those leaks. So let's uh, zoom in on that so you can see what I'm gonna do there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just go on ahead and just scoop from the top. Look how dirty, oh my God, so dirty. That water is. Okay. You see that water is like super, super dirty. Oye, ¿qué tú crees? ¿Puedo botar esta agua en la composta o algo así o no? De cebolla sucia. So give me a second, I'm gonna go on ahead, all right, give me one second. I'm gonna go on and dump this into um, the back here, okay? Give me one second. Because I didn't want to, you know, waste that water, you know, whatever. So I feel like it's good water and, uh, you know, I got to just throw it. Because it had like a little on onion bits and I want to throw that down the drain. Because like, let me just throw it into the compost, okay? Um, but anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. I apologize for that little delay there. Alright, let me, in fact, let me wash my hands real quick. Wash this hand in particular here. The thing about leaks, you know, leaks are awesome and great, but man, they take a lot of like cleaning, you know? you gotta clean your leaks thoroughly that's a whole lot of leaks yeah I mean but the leaks are gonna end up cooking down you know all that's gonna end up just cooking down and uh, you're gonna see you're gonna see what we're gonna do because I've seen you know I saw a bunch of recipes you know I saw a bunch of recipes uh, 
for the the coke and you know the thing that we're making now and i don't know i saw this one recipe in which like it was really really green and i'm like you know what that's what i want i want it to be you know really 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 green all right so let me do that and it's not going to take that long you know what i mean it's going to be very fast and quick and easy all right you're going to see all right i don't want to remember we're not trying to overcook the veggies or anything either you know what i mean like we just uh you know want to preserve the greenness all right so we're gonna cook it in stages you know the first thing we're gonna do is cook the um leeks okay and then after that then we're gonna add the greens and then just you know cook it for a few minutes you know and then that's it and then we're just gonna grind it up into like a mush all right so now what i'm gonna do here is i need to put this on the back burner um Okay, I need to use the front burner. So let me go ahead and leave it. Because you know each burner has uh, an intensity. Once some more than others. All right, let's uh, move it over here. But there we go. All right, I'm gonna leave uh, that angle there for a minute so that way you guys can see better. Yeah, we're just gonna cook those bad boys there for a little bit. So I mean, you know, it can't get it cannot get any easier than this. <laughs> can't get any easier than this, all right? So yeah, today we're just chilling. Oye, tiene un poquito de cerveza ya, no? Yeah? Alright. Voy a hacer la cerveza verde. Voy a hacer la cerveza verde. Sí, prueba la Christian doesn't want to try this, but whatever. Anyways, we're gonna try it. We gotta try it. I've never had it either. It, I mean, it, it, I mean, this doesn't change the flavor. All right. So, what are we gonna? What, what am I talking about? What am I doing? Well, guess what? You know what I mean? We're waiting for the leeks to cook. Guess what? Time for that green beer. <laughs> All right.
olive oil here. Nice, I should win it. Here, just add a little more butter. But anyways, I got that green beer. Give it a shot. Salute to everybody out there. That green beer. I don't know, I think I, I put a little bit too much green in there, but. Oh, yeah, ready? Tastes like beer. Hey, porque no le cambia el sabor. Yo no me get coloring. Try some beer. ¿Qué forma de darle en la madre la cerveza? It's like, how, it's like, how dare you? It's like, she's like, how dare you do this to a beer? How dare you? ¿Eso es irlandés o es americano? No, that's American. She's like, that's not iron, that's not iron. That's American. Ay, para variar. The same people that celebrate this are the same people that celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Bruh. <laughs> Bueno, probemos la cerveza de Shrek. You gotta, you gotta go like Shrek. This. this is Shrek beer, yeah. No, oh, my stomach. No. Ah, it's it's cerveza, fine. Pero... It's just beer. It's just all in the mind. It's Me all... gusta el look, color original. Look, this is, uh, this is the original Ireland, Irish molecular gastronomy. All right? Bruh. This is molecular gastronomy. It makes you think it's something else, like a shamrock shake, but it's really beer. Salud. Ah, no, no está bien. No. It only turns your turds green, not the... <laughs> Cheers. All right, so let's go back to this. Let me, I'm gonna add some more of that butter. Some more of the, 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 the you know garlic herb butter. So it's just a uh, little garlic butter, parsley, salt. Okay. You know, get that butter. So now I'm going to go on ahead and start adding the kale. You know, just pick out any like undesirable bits, I guess. Doing that. that for a minute. Oh, the camera went out already. Ooh. Give me a second. Let me reconnect, all right? We need a new battery. One second. We're going to pause this for a second. I turned it off, okay? So give me one second. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I burned the hell out of it. 
No, but it was already, the battery was already running out anyway. Just give me a second, just give me two seconds. Uh, Beer time in the meantime. You know Pokemon? Hmm? Yeah, I know. It's like, I'm only drinking it because it's beer and I love beer. <laughs> Not because it's green. She's, uh, she still feels offended. She's still very, very offended by the green beer. No, you look, hold on, hold on. Oh. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you do that to beer? What did, what did beer ever do to you, huh? No. <laughs> there we go, we're back. We're back live. Okay, so as you see, we've already added the greens. Let's uh, turn the flame back on because I turned it off. I don't want to burn anything. But yeah, so again, we want to make it as we're going to keep it as green as possible. The kale is going to take a little longer to cook. So let's just go on ahead and like uh, make it. We went in order. All right, we, uh, we cooked the leeks first. Now we threw the kale in there. The leprechaun is going, the leprechaun goes in raw. Okay. The leprechaun is later. He just goes in raw. Okay, we just raw dog in it. Brass. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you love it. But yeah, like I said, guys, if you love the show, if you love everything I'm doing here. The best way to help me out, the best way to really support the show, the best way to really um, take it to the next level is to get on Twitch, okay? Um, pretty soon, within a month or so, um, I'm going to start being only on Twitch live. So if you want to see the live show Monday through Thursday, it's only going to be on Twitch. Um, otherwise, um, you, know, if you, you know, if you're watching me on Facebook or YouTube or anywhere else, you're going to be watching a, a rebroadcast, okay? Because I'm, that's it, you know what I mean? I, it's, it's a complicated thing. I've already explained it earlier. You know, we'll talk about it again more in the future. But at the end of the day, that's the direction we're moving, okay? So now we're going to add some more of these greens. Again, just a little spinach, arugula, you know, more kale, whatever. Okay? Just a little bit more green, greenage. Okay? The greener the better. Okay, and we really like, again, we're just trying to cook this a little bit, but I'm not trying to overcook it or anything, all right? I want it, I want it to stay as green as, it, as possible. have kind of, you know, got a little brown there, but that's okay. That's fine. So we're just cooking this a little bit more, just like another minute or two. Turning it off now. Alright? And that's it. Just letting the residual heat do its thing, but that's it. I just turned it off, and that's it. So yeah, like I said, you know, if, if you want to know more about Twitch, just check out the links down below, click there. 
make an account, get get a head start, get started. You know what I mean? If you would definitely want to hang out and interact with me more live, all right? Um, because that's the way to go. You know what I mean? We're you know, I'm not gonna stay behind with the Joneses. You know what I mean? I'm not. You know what I mean? We gotta move forward, and that's that's the that's a platform. All right. So shout out to everybody out there. You know, welcome. Mm. And like I said, if you like this kind of content, I think you're going to love what's on, on Twitch. Because there's all kinds of people, you know, doing all kinds of things. You know what I mean? All kinds of content. Like I said, you know, there's people making music. You know, you're just hanging out with them while they're making music for four or five hours. Um, or they're gardening. Or they're, you know, fixing some car. Or they're, you know, arts and crafting. You know, they're knitting. Or they're baking. Or they're this. You know, they're doing this, it's a million things. But like in a place like YouTube, you know, you get kind of drowned out with the masses, you know, there's just too many other, too much more competition. And, um, you know, people go to YouTube to do and look for other things, you know what I mean? It's not necessarily this per se. Like, you know, I'll probably have more success um, uploading broadcast than doing a live stream on YouTube, you know what I mean? So, all right. Enough of that, we just have the, that's what's in my head at the moment. That's what we're talking about that. Um, plus, you know, I mean, I don't know what else, what other Irish stuff I'm gonna talk about, I guess, right? All right, so now we're just gonna go on ahead and stick this in the little blender or RoboCoop or whatever you got, okay? Smells delicious. So you see it's nice and green. Okay? That's what we're going for. In fact, let me go on ahead and uh, add uh, the leprechaun in there right now. All right? Let me go on ahead and add uh, the leprechaun. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh wait, he's already. Never mind. He's in here. Let me uh, cover him up. Right. So we got the little leprechaun in there. Okay. Oh shit! Let me let me cover him up. Hey, hey, hey! Where are you going? Where are you going? Hold on, hold on. All right. Okay. He's in there. Anyways, all right, all right. I'm gonna do this quick. What are you doing, you motherfucker? Here's fucking. I'm a fucking kid. Again, the reason I'm going to Twitch is because if I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch and I'm going to be getting paid on Twitch or, you know, just be part of their program or whatever, um, that means I can't really like uh, live stream on the other platforms. I, I mean, I can, but I can't like if I'm doing this stream, it only has to be on Twitch. They have to be prioritized and then I can re-upload this stream to whatever platform later. And on top of that, like um, I can still stream on YouTube or any other platform but it cannot be on Twitch, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they can't cross, you know, don't cross the line, you know, like in Ghostbusters, don't cross the streams. Like, so it's the same kind of idea there. Um, 
And it makes sense, I get it, you know what I mean? Like, so Twitch is really, really, really doing and incentivizing creators, you know, of the create and incentivizing them, you know, with real freedom and paying them and giving them like front page, you know, and shit like that, you know? So it's like, come on, you know what I mean? Like, um, there's just too much incentive to not, you know what I mean, to go there. And I can still, you know what I mean? Like upload, you know, to whatever, whether it's Rumble or YouTube or, um, I, I, I haven't checked out Rumble yet, but whatever, but like, um, you know, I, I'm a bit shoot, D Live, Odyssey, Library, you name it. You know what I mean? Like all the platforms, you know? So, so yeah, anyway, so it would benefit me more, you know what I mean? Actually, to do it like that and then just re upload because it would just, you know, be a better product as well and I'll be able to get discovered even more. And yes, it's going to take a lot more work, but again, and also when I go live, you know, like it, it, I can put so much work and effort into, into like all this stuff, you know what I mean? To go live as opposed to, uh, you know, as, for YouTube. As opposed to like Twitch, where it's just basically bloop, bloop, bloop. And it's a lot easier, you know what I mean? It just makes things life easier on me too. And it would allow me, it allow me to maybe even make more content per week, as opposed to just four per week, you know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of benefits. It's a lot of benefits. And, um, you know, we'll be exploring all that later on, okay? Now, I'm leaving this in here. There's no need for me to take it out. That is nasty. Anyways, so that's it. We're just gonna add this to the mashed potatoes later on. Now let's check the potatoes. All right, now let's, uh, hold on, let's move this around. Let's do a little pot, pot dance. save that water all right I'm gonna get these potatoes out we're gonna save that water we're gonna use that water like a double boiler later why because as soon as I'm done with the mashed potatoes I want to keep them warm and I want to make sure that uh, they stay perfectly mashed and potato -y as long as possible so uh, we got to keep them over a double boiler. So that's the secret, you know, to keep the mashed potatoes. You can make mashed potatoes ahead of time and leave them over a double boiler and they'll freaking last forever. Well, not forever, but you know, long enough. Long enough, you know, to get you through your dinner thing. Okay, now let's uh, stir this bad boy up. All right, look at that. Look at that stew, look at that. How's that look? How's that look? Okay. Now the beef still needs a while. You know, I would say. Let me see. All right, hold on. Let's uh, see if we can get a piece of beef here. All right, we're still gonna cook this a little longer. So let's go on ahead and add all the rest of this water here. Okay, and I think by the time that evaporates, we'll be done. Remember, water is a vehicle to cook, so that's what we're doing, cooking. So let's cover it up, let it cook some more, and leave this back here. We're gonna still, the, the flame is still on. I want this hot water to stay hot because, again, we're gonna use it as a double boiler soon. Now what we're going to do is Okay. So we got the potatoes in here. All right. Let's bring this over here. 
so you guys can get a better better view here. Hold on, let me get rid of this first. Let me unplug this. And Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to get that. Hold on. There you go, so you can see the taters. So that's it, we're just, remember, we're making mashed potatoes here. Yeah, this is uh trying to keep this removed. Maybe they can do this. Maybe that'll be better. <laughs> Such a pain. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the best way. I don't like I don't like strapping it to my head too much, you know? Trying to find like the best way to. Because this thing keeps breaking. I need a new one. Bruh. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. I need I need like a little mini tripod, like a bigger tripod or something. I need uh I, need, I do need some better equipment, that's for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, because right now I'm trying to mash this, but I can't mash it because uh it keeps wanting to fall. Let me see, maybe I can grab it onto this. No, it's all right. There you go. I think that'll work. I think it's just a trial and error thing. We'll figure it out as we go along. There we go. Is it, if nothing goes wrong, it's not a live cooking show. That's right, go where you're treated best. That's right, you know what's up. All right, so yeah, I don't got a fancy potato masher. I just got a, a metal spoon. And, uh, you know, no fancy potatoes. I wish I had like russet potatoes or something, but we just got the potatoes we got here. So, you know, we're just gonna mash them. I, I wanna get a ricer too. So we're just mashing this. I'm not adding anything to it yet. Um, no cream or anything. Well, let me get some butter out. Let me get the butter out so I can at least start getting kind of warm, you know, melty. But yeah, Twitch, man. Twitch is the way. So, so yeah, I mean, the reason I'm just announcing Twitch and I'm going to start talking more on Twitch going forward um, is so you guys, you know, can can eventually just jump over there. Um, the quicker you get there, the better. You know what I mean? Because it'll just make it easier for you. Um, but eventually, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know what I mean? I'm going to just do all my live content over there. Um, how long will it take me to get there? I don't know. I would say at the shortest, a month. At the longest, two months. So just start, uh, you know, like I said, it's very easy. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, you can watch me on Twitch and you can still watch or have other windows open. You know what I mean? It's the same thing as YouTube. You know what I mean? It's literally the same. There's no need to be scared or intimidated or anything. You know? So you see, we mashed it. Okay, so we got those mashed taters in there. Okay. That's it. Again, keep it simple. Okay, 
right, so now, now that we've added that in there, you know, we're gonna go on ahead and then we gotta add that butter. Okay, butter, 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 always better with the butter. Let's keep it out in case we need it. A little salt. A little pepper, you know, potatoes need salt. We need pepper. A little secret ingredient I like to add to mashed potatoes. Not always, you know, but sometimes. A little white pepper. Not a lot, but white pepper goes really well with potatoes. All right, and now, yeah, with potatoes and the eyeball, jeez, ugh. All right, and now we're gonna add the, the leprechaun, leprechaun mixture. See, we're just mixing this up in there. Making the mashed potatoes, making the mashed potatoes. Okay, so you say you keep trying Twitch, but it doesn't like you. What do you? What, what's going on? What? What? What's the trouble you're having with Twitch? So with Twitch, like I said, you know, you can, if you're watching me on your phone or on your tablet or anything like that, you can just download the app, like the YouTube app. Same thing, Twitch app. Watch me there. Now, if you're watching me on the desktop on your computer, um, then you just simply, you know. Just watch me on Twitch. It's like you watch me on YouTube.com. You watch me on Twitch.com. You know, you're watching this on YouTube.com slash whatever the name of this video is. And then the same thing with Twitch. You know, you'll be watching on Twitch.com slash whatever the video is. You know what I mean? That's how it works, right? So I hope that makes more sense. All right. So let's, uh, let's keep checking on the, the leprechaun uh, mashed potatoes, the a.k.a. the coal cannon. The coal cannon. Looks great. But yeah, this is exactly what I envisioned, what I pictured when I was uh, when I was gonna make this. I think you guys can see there. Yeah, let me just show. You. Okay. Okay. So look at that. Okay. What a beautiful thing. Okay. Okay, so now, you know, it's still a little rough. Ah, sorry about this. It's still a little rough, per se. So what we're gonna do now, <laughs> man this is so annoying man because it's like you know you buy this and then it just doesn't do hey why do they they just don't make things like they used to anymore man things just you know this used to be great when i got it and now it just sucks you know what i mean it just breaks so easily these days everything just breaks so easy things just suck everything just sucks you know what i mean everything's just made in china 
This fucking sucks. Fuck, man. So annoying, you know what I mean? But anyway, so now what we're gonna do is just get some milk in there. You know, again, milk, cream, whatever, you know what I mean? So sorry about that. But yeah, this looks amazing. It smells even more amazing. So, and by the way, I don't like a lot of milk in there. I love a lot of butter in there, but not too much, not too big a fan of milk. So, you know, just a little bit, because we do have to add a little bit in there, you know? To make it mashed potatoes after all, right? Yeah. But you see, it's like it changed the consistency. Yeah, you know, made it a little smoother. Um, more mashed potato-y. That was the only thing we were missing, just a little cream. But yeah, anyway, but, but the thing is that like, so back to the tripod, you know, that's like the best one they make and it's still shitty. You know what I mean? That's the thing that pisses me off. You know what I mean? It's a good brand. It's a, it's a good company. It's good everything. But it's like, you know, everything. Everything is just, uh, you know? It doesn't matter what the company is anymore, almost, you know? So. Okay. Look at that, look at those green mashed potatoes. It looks so good, man, right? I don't know, I think they do. I think they look great. Look at that. Okay. Get it, bro? That's it. That's our mashed potatoes. Awesome. I mean, that's our cold cannon. All right. Again, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Maybe somebody out there knows how to pronounce this. Again, you know, I, I, I went the extra mile. I found the leprechaun for you guys. We got him in there. And that's it, all right? It's amazing. In fact, the only thing that's missing is that, let's um, zoom in there for a minute. I'm gonna have a little dip a little hole in there, all right? A little cubby hole. And uh, fill that little hole with a little dab of butter. Like this is how we do it. Bum, 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 bum. So that's it. All right. So now let's just uh, let's try this out. I want to at least try it out. See what see what the whole all the hubbub is about. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Bravo. This is really good. Hmm. Needs a little bit, a tiny bit of salt. You know what I'm at. Mm. Let me add. We just mix that in later. But just, you know, I'm, I won't forget it. It's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, Freedom Fanny, what's up? Yes, thank you. Thank you. There you go. 
Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So we got a new. So yeah, if you in fact if you look follow me on Twitch, it's it's different when you subscribe on Twitch. It's called follow because on Twitch when you actually subscribe, it's like Patreon. Okay, so when you're doing a subscription on Twitch, it's like Patreon. So you don't have to. Sub, there's no sub, don't subscribe. Just go to where it says follow. Follow is like you're following me on Instagram, following me on whatever, follow me anywhere. As soon as you follow me, it should appear somewhere on screen. So if you follow me on Twitch, we'll see it together. Take care, baby. Well, we should. We should. I don't know. I mean, we got to, you know, one step at a time. And thank you. Thank you. I mean, thank you for, for finding me on Twitch. That was very awesome. Appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody out there as well. And like I said, you know, don't do it now. You know, you guys have time to do it. I'm just like starting the announcements today. All right. And don't worry, I'm not gonna just like disappear one day, you know. We're gonna gradually, slowly make our way over there. All right, so. This is a recipe I need to try. Yes, yeah, no, I'm telling you, the, the, this is really good, man. This is super good. Um, really good, really good. All right, so let's, uh, let's try the, man, the let's check, um, let's check on, the, on the beef real quick. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, okay, now I'm gonna go on ahead and cover it. Okay, bring it back over here. I'm going to show you what I meant earlier. But yes, thank you. thanks again, Freedom Fanny. Much appreciated. But anyways, so as you guys can see there from the sky cam, um, over here where I got my hand, the water that was boiling, we used the potatoes. I'm going to put that on low, and I'm going to get the potatoes and just put it right on top. That's it. And this is going to remain perfect, remain perfectly potatoey for as long as I keep it there. I mean, you know, again, not three days, you know, but at least like for hours. You know, because for a lot of people that are making like a dinner party or doing anything like that, um, you know, that's something that... You know, you can make it ahead of time and just leave it and it'll stay perfect, okay? So, all right, so now let's go on ahead and add the potatoes. I just wanted to taste real quick. Let's see where we're at. Mm, I guess I'm just gonna make a new one. I'm gonna taste the broth. I wanna see where we're at with salt and all that. Let's see, let's taste that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that's actually perfect. The recipe also said to add some sugar. I'm not a little sugar. Fuck it. I mean, again, the, the Irish recipe here, right? I mean, after I tasted it, I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I remember that's the one thing I didn't add. Okay, I added the potatoes now. I'm just adding the potatoes right now. Because basically... You know, I already know the, the meat is not going to take too much longer, I don't think. I hope not. Okay. Yeah, it's just really hot today. He's not that hungry right now. But I'll, I'll probably eat. I'll probably eat and uh, I'll do the tryout. Because I got to eat early because I got the podcast. So. And then we're going to make the Irish donuts. You hope you guys are ready for that. So basically, we got the cold cannon, the cold cannon ready. Now we got the beef ready. 
You know what I mean? I mean, not ready, but, you know, about half an hour, you know, give or take. So I have uncovered it now, all right? And now we're gonna just let it do its thing. Okay? But right now we still gotta let this stew further. Okay? And uh, let's see, let's see. And uh, the donuts, you know, we can get working on the donuts soon. But the donuts are actually super quick and easy. Smoking, you will be hungry. Yes, in fact, that's a great idea. I think I'm gonna, sh again, it's all green day, right? Literally, everything's green. So, uh, you know, we're gonna smoke some green, green tobacco. Bruh. Green tobacco, look, green leaf, and everything green today, right? Green, green, green. But yeah, yeah, we gotta wait a little while because we gotta wait for those potatoes. I mean, we gotta wait for the for this to, to be done. It's gonna be a little while. In fact, as when I added the potatoes, I'm like, fuck, you know, I think I added it a little too early, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So in fact, what we're gonna do now is uh, let's just do the dishes real quick. You know what I mean? Might as well do the dishes. We got a few minutes to kill. thing where it's not even grappling on anymore or working anymore I think I'm gonna have to buy another one and then maybe use this one for spare parts or something so annoying it's like see this one's like loose Alright, so let's just do a quick, uh, let's do the dishes really quick here, alright? Shout out to everybody out there, hanging out with me today. Um, because, you know, that way it'll be a lot easier to get smashed, right? By the way, let's, uh, let me look at the, let me look at the poll real quick. Let's look at the poll and let's see how many of you guys... Um, we're getting smashed today, and who is not getting smashed? So shout out to you guys out there. So there's a, a uh, what is it? We got a poll on Twitch. I mean, there's a poll on YouTube, and it says 11 votes have come in, and uh, sorry, we got 11 votes that have come in, and uh, we got 45% have are getting smashed, and 55% are getting not smashed. So, okay, not everybody's getting smashed, okay. Well. Isn't it like a holiday to get smashed? Isn't it, isn't it like the smashed holiday, like a Cinco de Mayo, right? Bruh. All right. 
so let's uh i'm gonna need this bowl so let's just save it here for later we're gonna remember we're still gonna make the the donuts so we'll make that in a second the donuts are quick let me just get these dishes out of the way because otherwise we're just gonna be sitting around with our thumbs up our ass um because i don't want to make the donuts too early either you know what i mean we're still gonna wait for this to, to cook I do want to add a little bit more water here. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to put a little stir. All right. And that's it. We're just right now just going to let this cook away. It's going to be a little while. But the donuts, I mean, we've made these on the show like a long time ago. Um, we made the, it's just two ingredient donuts and it only takes like five minutes to mix together. It's yogurt and I think flour, right? And, um, and that's it. And it's super easy and they come out amazing. At the end of the day, the flavor, the taste, all that, that's what really, really really matters really counts and that's it and then the, we're just making green icing you know to make them you know irish right isn't that how it works right you just add green and it's irish so that's like the rule add green it turns irish mm. a shout out to everybody out there <clears throat> much appreciated One Shout out to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, 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 wonderful time. Hope you guys are having a very, very happy Leprechaun Day, AKA St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, you know, right now I'm gonna do the dishes. I, I got the chat. I can interact with you guys live immediately. So you know, if you got anything to say, let me know now. Alright, let's do these dishes real quick. We got Gizmo over there. Uh, garbage is coming through. So you see, I got you guys over here.
doing the dishes before we eat. So right now, you know, again, we got the... Yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 for sure. He usually has, you know, uh, what we eat or whatever. It all depends on what it is. But yeah, we'll give him probably a little piece of meat here or there. You know, like I was saying, um, I don't really celebrate um, I, I'm, I'm St. Patty's Day, where I'm saying, all right, let's celebrate St. Patty's Day. You know what I mean? I'm 40 years old, and this is the first time I'm really, like, celebrating this. You know what I mean? Because, like, I, I've worked in the restaurant industry a good, you know, majority of my life. So, you already know, in the United States, everybody celebrates this as, like, Cinco de Mayo, like a holiday. It's, uh... You know, get a, a, an excuse to get drunk and all that, and so. But I never really celebrated because I, I'm not an alcoholic or I'm not a drinker. I'm not Irish. Any of that shit. You know, I celebrate 420. You know. <laughs> you know, they don't they don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo in Mexico. I live in Mexico now. They don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo here. That's a gringo thing. Cinco de Mayo is just basically um, a battle. A battle. It just signified like a battle between um, the French and the Mexican army, like back in the 1800s. You know? Yeah, what the fuck? Anyways, all right, I see some comments coming in here. Cindy, pick up your habit of doing dishes while cooking makes the after dinner time much nicer and enjoyable. See, I'm telling you, man, clean as you go. True story. That's right. Oh, I'm, I'm glad. I am so glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm telling you, it makes it so much better, right? Doesn't it make everything so much better? Because it's like, again, just get the shit out of the way, and you don't got to worry about this later. And um, you can just sit back and relax, and then basically have the person you live with do the dishes, you know, which is just like a few dishes, and that's it. I don't really drink either, but Mescal can occasionally call my name. Yeah, I love Mescal. What's up, Missing the Live? I work today. Happy St. Patty's Day. Time to get drunk. That's right, that's right, Louie. Around here, people go for the Irish pub crawl. That's right, that's right. Yeah, same here. I mean, well, kind of, sort of, you know, but... Yeah, you know, St. Patty's Day is like, whatever. You know, it's not a big deal. I mean... You know, we're celebrating it today just because, you know, I got I got a reason to celebrate it today. You know, we're doing the show. Um, that's it. We're doing the show. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what we're celebrating. <clears throat> but, yeah, you know, now I'm going to have all the dishes done and um, I'm good to go. I mean, like that. I mean, trust me, man. Like the, the the clean as you go, not just the dishes, but just everything. Just makes everything so much easier and nicer all around. Yeah, because right now, you know, once I'm done with these three dishes here, you know, once I'm done with all like these dishes right here, I'm done. You know, basically with all the dishes. Um, Yeah. 
that's it. But yeah, the clean as you go, I actually, that's one of the things that I actually learned um, in culinary school. Um, because the thing is, that, look, when you're in a, in a restaurant, um, for the most part, you got dishwashers, you know what I mean? And the dishwashers, they clean up all your crap for the most part. Not always, but for the most part. Um, but when you're in like culinary school, you're the one, you know, you're the one that's cleaning everything up. There ain't no dishwashers, you know what I mean? So they kind of like teach you the clean as you go thing. But the thing is that if you keep it as a habit, oh my God, it is so awesome. Because like I said, if you, especially if you cook at home and, and you're, you know, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, it just helps you so much more. Because you get away again, I don't gotta explain it. You guys already know. Any, anyone out there, anyone out there that has followed the gospel <laughs> and listened to, to Uncle Jose over here, you guys have already reaped the benefits. Alright? You, know, you guys have reaped the benefits of uh, cooking as you go. I mean, cleaning as you go. Don't forget to vote. That's right. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to vote. Diana, sorry, I'm trying to bake cookies before family comes over, so I'm around the corner. Oh yeah, don't worry about it, Diana. Do your thing. Cook, bake them cookies. Cindy's like, now I get the time to relax after dinner. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's the point. You know what I mean? I mean, that's why I clean as I go. I don't have to worry later. You know what I mean? That's it. I'm just done. I'm just done with everything. You know what I mean? So I like to get everything done. Look, that's why. That's why a lot of times you don't, you very rarely see me eat. You very rarely see me eat um, before, uh, I mean, on the show, um, simply because I like to be done with everything. You know what I mean? Done, I like to take a shower, chill, relax, you know, the whole thing. And then once I'm like nice, chill, relax, then I'll, then I'll eat. You know, that's it. I don't like to eat and then like keep working and doing stuff. I hate that. I hate that. I hate, you know, I hate like working with a full stomach. I hate, um, I just hate that. So. I just rather just starve myself all day and then just eat one meal a day. Again, it's not for everybody. You know, I was intermittent fasting or whatever, you know, before it was a thing. I only, I only eat once a day. Most people know that, they know me. I only eat once a day and um, that's it. You know, maybe I'll, you'll see what I did there. I'll do, I'll do a little bit of a, a try. You know, like again, like you saw that even when I'm trying something, to taste it or whatever, it's very minimal. You know, I just need, uh, you know, need, need my tongue to do the work, all right? Not my stomach. And that's it. Yeah, clean as you go will change your life. Yeah, that's right. Washing as you go also saves a horrible scrubby um, that gets stuck. That's right. That's right. That's right. In fact, you've seen me do it many times. You've seen me do it many times where you see me, um, as soon as I finish using the pan, like immediately um, I, I wash it because if it's hot and you add the water to it and all that, it does like that, you know, deglazing or whatever. You know what I mean? Or what, and then that's it. It just makes it it's so much easier to clean. Also, the pots that you use, I mean, um, if um, we use certain pots like these, you know, these are just aluminum pots or pans that are very ugly looking, but very versatile and very, uh, you know, again, heavy duty. Um, look, up, you look how easy this is to clean, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, come on, you barely what scrub what, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you, like you said, again, there's no reason to scrub because I'm, I'm washing it immediately. I'm not letting that, you know, sit there. And if I'm letting it sit there, I'm soaking it in water. You know, make sure it's like soaking in water. It takes a few seconds to soak it in water so that, you know, you don't gotta worry about it either. either. And what a cooking show, huh? Not only do you get tips on cooking and all this other shit, but you get tips on washing dishes. So just in case whatever you're doing doesn't work out, you know, you know how to wash dishes, you know, professionally for a restaurant. <laughs> Worst case scenario. I'm giving you some dishwasher training here. Anyways, this guy. Yeah, sorry, I don't got the sound effects, you know, I got my hands all wet. Okay. 
That's it, you know, keep it simple, stupid. That's another thing I learned too, you know what I mean? Like uh, in the kitchen, you know, kiss. You know, I'm sure you've heard of kiss, K-I-S-S. You know, keep it simple, stupid. That's it. So, we're done, we're done with that, yeah. And again, this is why I built this kitchen. You know, when I moved in here, I didn't have a kitchen, I had nothing. You know, Mexico's a little different, you know, so I didn't have any appliances, no nothing. No nothing, literally it was just an empty room. And so I was like, okay, fuck it, let me just build my kitchen. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta build it anyway. And so, um, I just I said, well, I'm gonna go with practicality, you know what I mean? And so, you know, this might not be the, the prettiest kitchen, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, that's not a nice, pretty kitchen. It's not blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. But this is very versatile. I'm going to say right now, it came out very cheap. And it's a professional, hard, heavy-duty kitchen. It's very versatile. You know how fucking versatile it is to have these two double sinks here? I mean, just this so just having a double sink like this. And again, this is relatively cheap in comparison to, you know, whatever it is you're going to do. Um... You know, to make yourself one of those nice kitchens, you know, that you see in home and garden or whatever. Um, at the end of the day, the kitchen is a, a work room, and it should be treated as such, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's a utility room. It's a room, um, you know, where you process things and you, you know, food and you, I don't know. It's just a, you know, people have made kitchens into like these uh, pretty palaces, you know what I mean? That that's not what they are. That's not what they, that's not what a kitchen is. You know, a kitchen is supposed to be. It's like a workshop. You know what I mean? You know that's what it really is. You know. Um, anyways, whatever. Don't get me started. Don't get me started on all that. Anyways, I hope I didn't add the potatoes too early. I think we're okay. But yeah, I'm gonna have that a little bit more water here. Because I can see it's still in the... Oh, okay, the meat's already... Yeah, look at that. Always trust, always trust your instincts, man. Don't be double-guessing yourself, bro. You got this. Easy. All right. Boom. Okay. All right, no more water. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Read some more messages there. I'm dizzy without trying. <laughs> I want your kitchen for my outdoor patio. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, in this kitchen also outdoors is great, you know? And again, you know, um, it's not that expensive, man. It's just basically just getting a bunch of uh, stainless steel tables, you know, kitchen quality. You know, you go to a place that sells used kitchen equipment never ever 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 again let me repeat let me repeat never ever ever never never ever buy new restaurant equipment always buy used restaurant equipment okay because most of it is like new number one most of it is literally like new and it's like at half the price and if you know anything about kitchen equipment this is this is supposed to like last like forever all right so does it really matter it's used no. In fact, you probably want it to be used because you'll know that it's heavy duty. You know what I mean? Like, it's already put some work in, you know? You want that. Stew meat is tender, apparently. Yeah, it's almost meat. Yeah, it's almost tender. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I want it to be a little more tender, so, you know, we're just going to let it ride. But, yeah, we're done. You know what I mean? We're just waiting on the potatoes and all that. Michael Booten says, your kitchen looks great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, a lot of people love my kitchen. Not everybody, you know what I mean? Like, certain people don't like my kitchen, you know what I mean? I know, like, my mom don't like my kitchen, you know what I mean? No, well, she likes it now. She don't care about it now. But at first, she was just like, where are the cabinets? Where are this? Where are that? And I'm like, no, because it's... The thing is that, like, what people don't understand is, like, if you got cabinets, for example, um, when you're working, and especially if you got, like, one other person in the kitchen or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, anytime you're going to open a cabinet, close a cabinet, you know, you can... Sometimes you forget. You can hit your head with it. I mean... 
it, it's 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 a more unnecessary um, clutter that you do not need. But if you notice, my kitchen is open. You know, I got an open kitchen. You know, everything's just on shelves and and, and things like that. So I can just grab. <laughs> I can just grab whenever I want, whatever I want. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So. I'm putting something like that at the beach house in my house. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's, it's really it's expensive. It was, I mean, it was inexpensive. Basically, I, I built this whole kitchen for uh, un, uh, like 800 bucks, you know? I would, let's say $1,000, right? $1,000 for the whole kitchen, all right? Meaning everything, all right? Everything. Everything you see. You know, everything but the appliances, you know what I mean? So... Irish New Yorker, that's right. Awesome, awesome, brother. I need lots of bubbles to make me happy. I like washing dishes just fine. New job. <laughs> that's right. And you never know, man. You never know. You gotta have as many skills as possible. All right, let's just take a little bit of a smoke break. I'm gonna go on ahead and put this on like medium. I put I put the meat on medium and uh, take a little break, you know, get some of that green inside the green, inside the green, inside the green. And um, yeah, you know, we're just chatting it up, you know, for anything, you know, you guys want to say anything. But yeah, right now, all we're gonna do is make the Irish donuts. Now, the Irish donuts takes like five minutes, literally five minutes. And I'm starting to think, I'm like, uh, you know what? The one thing I do need to do before I do that is I don't want to get too. You know, I don't want to get too fucking smashed, right? <laughs> um, before we move to the next thing. All right, let me see. I'm trying to figure out. Because I want to keep the mashed potatoes warm, but I want to fry in there. So I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to... We're going to... I'm going to put it in here. Okay, so let me, let, me, let me show you another technique, all right? So you guys can see, you can do this with many, many pans, all right? You'll see what I'm doing. All right, watch. Okay, we're gonna move this so you guys can see what I do. All right. So what we're gonna do here, all right? I need to. I need this pan. I, I really want this pan to fry it. Okay. So that I can fry the the donuts in there. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and do this. All right. All right you, you just use that same water. It doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Um, and then what we're going to do is just put this on top like that. All right. And that's it. You know, basically, what you're trying to do here, hold on a second. Is you don't want this to touch the bottom. You want this to be floating. So there, now, you see it's floating, all right? There you go, you see how it's floating? Look at that. That's how you know it's floating, when it moves around like that, all right? Because otherwise, if this is touching the bottom, it could still burn, you know? But if it's floating, it's in the water, floating, and barely touching the bottom, if touching it at all, that is what you're looking for, you know what I mean? That that will keep it, um, um, that'll keep it uh, warm without burning, all right? Let's check this out, all right? I think we're done here. We're gonna put this on low, all right? Let's do a little bit more, let me see. Yeah, it's already getting tender. Perfect, perfect. So look at that, how beautiful that looks. All right, so now, actually, what I'm going to do here, hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to go on ahead and... Sure nothing you don't have any spillage all right so what am I doing I'm, I'm making room here 
right? So I can I can fry up ahead. I can fry here without a problem, okay? So we got these on low, all right? Nice and low and slow, okay? But they're basically done, all right? But we're not done yet. We're not a hundred percent done. I want to add a little green to this. So we're going to go on ahead and add some green to this. Okay. Now, if you got parsley, you can add parsley. If you got, you know, whatever green you got, you can add. I'm just gonna add this. Maybe right? that's what I got. Look at that. We got a nice little thick gravy. Okay, now that's really looking good. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Thank you for, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the kind words. Thank you for smashing the like button. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful St. Patty's Day. But yeah, you know, just adding a little green. But yeah, I mean, again, you just add this right at the end. Look at that, look how beautiful it looks. Okay. And a little extra brightness. Okay. So we're, we're, we're going to try, so Christian has never had, so Christian has never had a Guinness, so we're going to try the Guinness, okay? So hold on, one second. Yeah, we got some time today. It's still early. I'm gonna. Well, so, um. Yeah, she's about to start, but she has to go to class right now. So, okay, so here's the Guinness, all right? We're gonna pour this out a little bit for her, for me. Pero mira, mira cómo la cerveza, ¿tú no ves? Pues 
Ah, no, 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 Bueno, empieza la clase right now. Cuatro y media. Okay, okay, she has to go like in two minutes. All right, so yeah, just to try it. All right, salud. ¿Con quién el otro? ¿Con quién más? No, es este. Sí, uno está. Se ve fuerte. A mí no es nada. Es just es como una modelo. Salud. Happy Thanksgiving. I mean, happy. What the fuck is it? Día San Patricio. San Patrick's Day. That's right. Oops. I'm gonna spit the beer. Un poquito más amarga que la modelo, pero está rica. Uh -huh. A mí en lo personal me gustan así oscuras. That's right. Sí, she loves it. Tastes good. She goes, it's a little bit more be uh, bitter than the modelo. ¿Todavía está aquí? Sí. Mm. So this is, this is their version. This is the Mexican Guinness. All right, that's a Mexican Guinness right there. Okay. Gizmo, you okay, bro? <laughs> Gizmo eat something. I don't know. Maybe he bit an iguana. I don't know. Anyway, he was like, yeah, he's not feeling too well. Poor guy. No, maybe it's a heat. Maybe it's just a little over. What? We'll be fine. Hey, shout out to everybody out there. But anyways, yeah, so this is the Guinness. Uh, she's never had it before. It's really good, smooth. She thought it was going to be a lot stronger mm. or more potent, but it's not. It's smooth. It's just like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, they won. Yeah. How much alcohol does it taste? Ah, so smooth. Look at that. Ooh. 4.2. And this? Oh, that was a good Guinness. 5.3. See? Está más fuerte eso. Exactly. So the Modelo, so she thought that the Guinness was going to be stronger, but no. You know what I mean? Like Modelo, the Mexican beer is a lot stronger. So this is 5.3% 5, 5 alcohol in the Guinness? 4.2. 4.2. So um, the Mexican beer is one point higher strength. And um, actually, it's to me, the Guinness was a lot smoother. Look, I already drank mine. I don't drink beer. I'm not a beer guy. To me, I like, that's why I like Guinness, it's smooth, but it is heavy, meaning, you know, it fills your stomach, you know what I mean? It's uh, one of those, you know, but it's great, it's really good for you. So, that's it, All right. you can go to class if you want, you can chill here if you want. But anyways, bye, bye, bye. Oops, sorry, sorry, wrong, I keep, I don't know why I keep hitting the, I keep hitting the wrong, whatever today. Man, shout out to everybody out there. It says 58% of you are not going to get smashed today. Um, I am going to get smashed today. We're already getting smashed today. We're going to get more smashed as the day goes on. Just because whatever. You know what I mean? Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, this, uh, it's Mexico. Um, Michael Booten says, you are so lucky, bro. I did the same thing in 97. I married Ellie at Hack. Yeah, her hometown. Oh, okay. Many the women. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah, yeah, man. I know the area very well. Yes, cool, man. Yeah, man. You know what's up, man. Many the women. Many uh, women from out here from the Yucatan are amazing. Now they're not easy. Don't get me wrong. I'm be thinking they're fucking you know cake. But if you can handle them, they are the best women, man. In fact, they're so awesome. I married one. Hey. Sí, pues aquí, aquí, aquí se me se casó con. Con la Yucateca. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién? Yeah, Michael Boone en 97. Mm -hmm. Alguien de Tella. De Tella, ¿cómo es? Tella o Tella. Yeah. Ah, Tella. Wow, genial. Como dice, le gusta el agua de pozo. Eso. So you like the. No, I'm sorry. So she goes, oh, you like the water from the from from the well. You like to drink from the well. That's right. That's right. Good water out here. <laughs> okay, 
so basically, you know, you guys can see, this is done, so we got that nice and done. I'm gonna let it ride out for a little bit. Give me a second, let me wash this real quick. So yeah, we got a little time to kill. Shout out to you guys out there. Oh, I see that they, yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's actually not too far from here. Cool. People that are in the middle of work week might not want to have a hangover. Ah, you'd be surprised, especially tomorrow that's Friday. Yeah, no way, you know what I mean? Like uh, today, if, if, look, man, today, if I was in the restaurant industry right now, we would be getting ready to get, like, destroyed busy. Especially, you know, with after coming out of the pandemic and all this other crap. Oh, my God. No way. No way. We would, if I was in the restaurant industry today, um, I would be expecting, again, the USA. I would be expecting today to be a monster day. Honestly. Honestly. And I would be severely disappointed if it wasn't anything but that. Um, I would I would be expecting very busy today. Um, yeah, no way, no way. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I know what you're saying, but like, um, if you live, if the thing is that, you know, you gotta remember, man, the average Joe with their average Joe life doing the average Joe thing. You know, uh, this is like the excitement, you know, for their thing. And uh, and a lot of people that are celebrating St. Patrick's Day, you know, like to get smashed today. You know, they're under 30 years old. You know, somewhere under 20s. You know. And um, they're working some really shitty job, most likely. And uh, yeah, are you kidding me? They're definitely looking forward to this. And especially on a Thursday, yeah, that's fine. Friday doesn't even count. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I would, honestly, I wouldn't be expecting. If, if, if today was like a Monday or Tuesday, maybe not so much. But the thing is, like, I've learned so much about the industry, man. You know, like, again, I, I worked in many sports bars and things like that. And, you know, Monday night football, that place gets jam-packed. And people got to work the next day, especially on the East Coast. Get out of here, you know what I mean? And um, and that can go on and on, you know what I mean? You know, so. Yeah, today, they, oh, my God, today is going to be, you're going to see so many people get drunk and, and fucked up. And, yeah. I am especially in Hiv Local says I am especially inspired to try those lovely green potatoes, coconut. They yeah, her hometown made yeah. Oh yeah, coconut. Whatever they're called, but they look good. Yeah, yeah, I mean the the mashed potatoes look amazing actually, so very excited to try those. One hundred percent. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. So yeah, we're just gonna make the donuts now, you know what I mean, real soon. Um, so let's just go over the donuts real quick before we start. So the donuts, um, the donuts are very simple. You know, honestly, it's uh, just flour and yogurt, you know? And um, you can use any yogurt you want. I, I highly recommend you get like some Greek yogurt. This is like, um, it says like it's a little extra sweet. Let's go with that, you know what I mean? Um, you can go with vanilla flavored, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's up to you, your life, you know, enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> but in this case, we're just using some regular yogurt. So I'm just, I, you know, I brought it out so I can just be a little bit, um, 
room temperature. But basically, you're just mixing this with flour until you get some sort of dough, and then we just make that into uh, into donuts. That's it. So, 140 grams of yogurt. How much? How many grams we got here? We got 150 grams. All right, perfect. Oh, 90, 190 grams of yogurt. So we got 150. All right, so we just make it a little less. So it's like a little less than a cup. So we'll use like, we'll start with three quarters of a cup of flour. So it's just, so you mix this with flour and that's it, you got the batter. So it's the bat, you know, it says like a, a cup. We're gonna start with a, a third, I mean, three quarters of a cup and then maybe add a little bit more, play it by ear. But I can make this recipe many times, huge success. I highly recommend it. And then we're just gonna make some plain icing, regular icing, and you know, we're gonna do the same thing with that we did with the green beer. You just make the icing green and make some, some green donuts. And that's it. And if, you know, um, if any, so by the way, so she's like, oh, I don't want no green donuts. I don't want no green uh, beer. But you know what? She chugged that green beer. I'll tell you that. She loved that. <laughs> so she's gonna love those green donuts because she loves those donuts. You know, she's not a big, she doesn't like sweets very much. Um, but that's one of the sweets that she likes a lot. So, like, I, like you know, wait till, wait, till, wait till we do these donuts. I think you're gonna like them a lot. By the way, um, you know, the green and the the Guinness and the green beer are now starting to do their thing. Feeling great. But yeah, I think we're gonna get started now. Might as well. Let me, I'm gonna make the glaze. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on ahead and make the glaze first, okay? And then after I make the glaze, then we'll make the donuts and start frying them up, okay? Let me uh, dry this out. We a shout out to everybody. I'm trying to, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to flip these guys around again. Okay, we're just gonna get the fry oil. So I, I've been, I found this safflower oil, um, and I'm gonna do more research on it. But it looks like it's pretty good. Um, I heard that it's, uh, I like it a lot better so far than like the canola oil or whatever. Any one of those other oils that are just terrible, um, they always leave like an aftertaste, like some weird, weird aftertaste and whatever. Anyway, safflower. Not sa like S A F F flour, you know, safflower oil. Bruh. Um, doesn't leave a, a, an aftertaste at all. So, yeah, at all, at all. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit more expensive than just regular oil, but it's not expensive. You know what I mean? So I would highly recommend it. I just the first time I really ever heard of it or tried it out. Um. It's not sunflower seed oil or anything like that. It's or, or sun, sunflower. It's safflower. Safflower. Here. Again. Well, here's in Spanish because I had the cartamo or whatever. But it's safflower. Safflower. Maybe you guys can see it. See? The flower, you see it? But anyways, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did a little research. I'm going to do more research on it. But I think it's really good. So, FYI. All right. So, let's uh, start the, let's start making these things, okay? So let's uh, let's go on ahead and make the icing first. Knock that out. I'm already heating up the oil. Remember, these are donuts, so you know we want it hot. We want to fry them hot. Okay, so 
Yeah, I don't want to make too much icing, honestly, to tell you the truth. So we're just gonna, let's see how much I got here. And we'll make that. That was half a cup. Yeah, it says make two cups, that's way too much. All right, so half a cup, let's melt a little bit of butter. So again, there's not like a real exact science to this, right? So don't worry about it. A little butter, a little vanilla, um, and the milk, okay. And the vanilla. So we're gonna just make the icing super quick. All right, give me a second, because I got the, the microwave is under the laptop. So one second. Oh my God, I forgot we broke the plate the other day. Actually, yesterday. I broke the plate inside the microwave yesterday. I break everything. Don't ask me what happened, all right? Okay, so what happened was, you know, <laughs> I fucking, I was walking and I slipped and I fucking fell and it was just like one of those uh, cartoon moments. It's hard to explain, but yeah, like somehow, some way, the microwave ended up on top of me and so did the plate and then the plate fell and broke and you know, you can't make that shit up. You know what I mean? I just, the only thing is like I regret is I regret I was not recording. <laughs> Other than that. But it happened, yeah, yesterday. But anyways, whatever. All right, so we got the butter. Butter, 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 butter. Yeah, so I always disconnect the microwave. Um, and I always keep appliances disconnected. For example... Again, you might not want to do this. You can do whatever you want. All right, one second. Hold on. You know, you can do whatever you want, but I highly suggest um, you should. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what the fuck I was saying. Oh yeah, unplug your appliances, why? Because man, they drain so much energy. Um, and if you, like for example, only plug your microwave in when you're gonna use it, only plug your washing machine when you're gonna use it, only plug in, you know, whatever, when you're gonna use it or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, uh, man, you're gonna see your, your light bill drastically go down because for whatever reason, these things are still uh, pumping um, energy out, you know what I mean? Even if they're not really using it, so. Yeah, don't get me started. Okay, so let's just uh, make the icing real quick. Okay, so we got the, the powdered sugar. Let's add the butter. Okay, we're gonna get the milk in a second. Okay. Oh wait, I should have uh, should be showing you this real quick. Sorry. But yeah, yeah, again, we just mixed uh, butter, powdered sugar. Okay. Okay, butter, powdered sugar. Um, we're adding a little bit of vanilla in there. But I'm not making that much icing, guys. I mean, just enough to do what we got to do here. So, yeah, I, I can see I definitely need to add more powdered sugar in there. Do I? No, nah, maybe not. Alright, you 
know what? All right, we're gonna have Christian try it out. Yay! All right, yeah. Bring my right. Yes. All right, so we're gonna just uh, get some. Uh, can I guess it? All right, we're gonna get some of the cold cannon. All right. Go one second. All right, we're gonna get some of the beef stew. Sorry. No, it's a half hour. All right, so again, we got the, the green mashed potatoes in there with uh, the Irish stew. Go on ahead, you wanna try it? Let's, uh, let's see if the... She can try it before she goes to class. But so you guys can see it, because that way I don't have to try it, and uh, you guys can see how it came out. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys here. As right, so you can see the cold can in there, all right? Mm -hmm. Which is the mashed potatoes, the green mashed potatoes. There we go. And, you know, we got the stew. Look how the stew looks. Look at nice, and look at the gravy. Look how the gravy develops, all right? So this is perfect, nice and tender. The potatoes didn't break, they're perfect. Everything's perfect. We got a little green, we got the, the carrot, we got everything in there. Delicious. And again, this. Yes, it's pretty. So delicious. All right. And look at this guy. Hey, hey, I want a beef. I don't want beef. I want problems, always. <laughs> it's like, I don't want beef. I want problems, always. Good, good. So how's it good? You like the Irish food? How's the uh, mashed potatoes? Yeah? Ah, okay. She loves the green. She loves the green. <clears throat> Look at that. She's taking it with her. <clears throat> She's taking also Gizmo. Gizmo's like, I'm following the food. <clears throat> and that's it. All right, so she tried it. She loved it. Success. Okay, so we're done there. Okay, let's, uh, so, so she already tried it out. So now we're just gonna go on and do the donuts. All right, let's move it to the donuts. All right, so again, we're just finishing. We're gonna do the icing first, all right? All right, so it was a success, man. All right, looks good. I can't wait to try it. But again, you already know. I want to like, you know, eat in peace. So okay, so we she tried it out. It looked awesome. So we're just gonna keep adding some powdered sugar here until we get the icing consistency. And, and the color too. I mean, I'm trying to get the. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got that. But I think I want it a little thinner, so I'm gonna add a little bit of milk.
What's up, man? How's it going, Jaloof? So anyways, hey, man, Narud Jaloof. Yeah, like I was saying to everybody, <clears throat> I'm not going to repeat the whole thing. If you watched earlier in the show, I was just basically talking about how we're all moving to Twitch. Within a month or two, it's only going to be on Twitch Live, all right? We're only gonna have like repeats and, and other shows on here um, on this channel. So for anyone that isn't already associated with Twitch, start getting an account over there, start figuring it out. It's easy, 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 easy. You'll see how easy it is. All right, so let me taste this real quick. Let me add a little bit more vanilla. Okay. All right, we gotta close this up. All right, I'll do that later. Okay. And now we're gonna get the green food coloring here. All right. And we're gonna add it until we get a green. Look at that. green icing how easy was that I'm gonna smoke a six-pack <laughs> who smokes a six-pack hey bro I work all day dealing with maniacs and since I found your channel I just keep you streaming background I gotta say bro your shoes keep your shoes keep me peaceful. I appreciate it. Hey, anytime, bro. I'm, I'm glad you um, are a feet guy and you like my feet. Oh, your shows. I think you made your six shows. Bruh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, it makes me happy, man. For reals. You know, that's that's why I do what I'm doing. I'm, I'm for reals. I'm, I'm 100%. Thank you very much. And Cindy says she doesn't have Twitch. Again, Twitch is just like YouTube. So just like you're watching me on YouTube right now and it's, you know www.youtube.youtube.com you know youtube you're watching me on youtube.com slash jose cook whatever or slash whatever this this uh, video is it's the same thing it's twitch.com you can go to twitch.com the link is down below just click click and then boom you're watching my thing um it's simple so it's twitch.com slash whatever this video is okay and that's it and the, but anyways all the links are down below in fact it's a lot easier because all you got to do is just go to my page twitch you know twitch.com slash cooking live with Jose and anytime I'm live I just appear if I'm not live it's black if, if I'm live I'm there and that's it and um, and that's what I'm gonna do all the live streaming okay I already explained earlier why we'll, we'll talk more about it in the months to come in the month to come whatever but but yeah yeah we're just moving the whole thing over the whole operation over there's just a better opportunity for me a better opportunity to grow a better opportunity in general I mean it's just so easy but anyways, on this channel, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever else you're watching me, I'm still going to figure out a way to like upload videos or do something there. Maybe what I'm going to do is just stream on Twitch and then get that video and upload it to YouTube. But if you want to watch me live, you want to talk to me live, you want to hang out with me live, and, and not just me, but so many other creators that are doing something similar to this, not just cooking, but many other things, then I, I would highly suggest you go over there. Um, Twitch, it's, don't, don't be intimidated by it. Trust me. It's... Uh, you know, one time people were intimidated by Facebook, and now it's Boomerville, right? So, I mean, come on. All right? So, don't worry about it. All right, so here we go. We got our green our green sauce, <laughs> for lack of a better description, okay? So, we got our green sauce. Okay, I got to find a way. I got to close this up so the ants don't get to it. Because there's ants... Everywhere they can already sense and smell the sugar. These bastards, these bastards. So we got one pita bread left. By the way, these pita breads that we made were so good, so good. We're gonna. Uh, 
My god, see, look, I already got sugar everywhere. Fuck, man. I love sweets, but I mean, the one thing I hate about baking is, 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 uh, this mess, you know? Yeah, I'm just putting it in here. I'm, I'm saving this bag, bro. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Get the hell out of here. You rich. Hey, rich, bro. In fact, I'll probably eat that pita bread with, uh, It'll be like my soda bread. <laughs> you know, fucking clean up a little bit over here. What a mess. Jesus. There, yeah, got freaking sugar everywhere. Right, oh, hold on. Okay, let's get these donuts going. Okay, so we got the yogurt and the flour, all right? So I'm gonna go on ahead, let me watch. Okay, so we already got the icing ready to go. All right, now we're gonna start making the donuts. Sorry, I had to go uh, deal with the leprechaun real quick. Right? <laughs> Bruh. Shout out to everybody out there. Oh, fuck, hold on. Ah! I even forgot something. So what we're gonna do now, all right, let's uh, move it over here, all right? What we're gonna do is that we're gonna go on ahead and get our uh, yogurt. Like I said, um, you can just use plain yogurt, um, but I would highly recommend uh, you just uh, get yourself maybe like something thick. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Something thick, uh, like a Greek yogurt, you know? Because it'll just make it even easier to, to make this. All right, but, uh, but yeah, you just get some Greek yogurt and um, you know, you can add whatever flavor into it. If the yogurt already has a little bit of flavor, great. Um, if not, don't worry about it. 
you know, just plain yogurt, okay? It's gonna be so awesome, so good. You're gonna love it. So, all right. Okay, so we got that. And uh, where's the flour? I already put it over there. Yeah, because what I wanted to, eh, that's fine, that's fine. I was gonna add a little extra flavor into it, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that. So let's go with a three quarters of a cup, okay? Remember, it was a it was a cup to start with, but we're just gonna go with three quarters of a cup. And then if we need more, we will add more. You can yeah, okay, you can see. So yummy, yummy. Ah, look at that! She came back for more. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Um, they call me. <laughs> hey, so we're just gonna mix this here. We're gonna mix it. Mix it, mix it. So, anyway, so this is like the easiest donut um, recipe you will ever have. Make, whatever. I mean, honestly, you know, you just saw yogurt, okay, and flour. And that's it. And so depending on, you know, how this comes out here, you know, will depend on if I need to add a little bit more flour or not. So let me see. A little sticky. There we go. We got it. We're, you know, I think we got a good, uh, add a little bit more flour. Just a tad. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Look, I broke something else. Bro. <laughs> oh boy. Bruh. <laughs> Alright, so I broke, uh... I broke the spatula, man! Alright. Well, it's okay. No big deal. We got plenty more. <laughs> You got plenty more to break. All right, okay. So now we're just simply gonna go on ahead and uh, you know add a little bit, you know more flour. We're just gonna use a spoon now, but we're there already. You know basically there where I want to be. We're there where we want to be. Tea. So let's uh, let's move on to uh, a more professional. Oh, did the GoPro go out already? I guess it did. All right, hold on. I don't know if it ran out of battery or what. We might have to switch batteries. Yeah, I think I ran out of battery. All right. Regardless, I, I want to mix this. I don't want to just leave it like that, okay? So, I'm going to change the battery in a second. Okay. Well, why, thank you, Diana. Thank you very much. Thank you, all right. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm just gonna change it better. Give me a second. Uno segundo, por favor. Thank you to everybody out there watching and hanging out. But yeah, you know, like I said, you know, um, YouTube is awesome and great, but you know, each platform serves a purpose right now. 
and um, you know this whole streaming thing this is basically the direction I'm going you know so um, that's what we're moving to twitch like I, like I said you know what I mean don't don't you know this channel's not going anywhere you know we're still gonna be um, you know uploading things to this and we might even be going live on this channel from time to time but at the end of the day um, it's just a lot easier it's just so much easier you know what I mean to, to to use uh, Twitch for streaming, you know, for what I'm doing here, you know, it takes so much more time and effort, you know, to put it together uh, for YouTube as opposed to like for Twitch. I mean, it's a lot easier, so it allows me to do more, you know. I got Christian over there; she's uh, in her class uh, <laughs> and also hanging out with us. So uh, yeah, Christian, Christian, uh, she gives it a ten today, so she loved her. Her, she she wants to celebrate. I, uh, she wants to celebrate St. Patty's Day from now on. She loved it so much. So she's like, "All right, I can't wait for next year so we can celebrate some more." All right, so you know, basically, we're we're done here. I think. I, I mean, I want to add a little bit more flour. I feel like it's a little bit still a little too sticky. Let's add a little bit more flour in there. Okay, all right. Flour, yummy, yummy in the tummy. Okay, now we got it. Okay, yeah, this is way better. So it's like kind of sticky, but not like so sticky you can't really do anything with it. All right, let me check the oil back here. Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do Okay, so we're just making a few of these guys. They're making a lot. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go on ahead and get yourself. Remember, I highly recommend you get one of these, you know, um, various sizes. I only got one that survived. You know, I still gotta get more, um, you know, more sizes. But anyways, these, these scoops are the best. So in this case, you know, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna scoop Okay, Here, let's get what's on there, scrape that off. Okay, but we're gonna get the camera ready over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's uh, move it back over there for a minute. was a little too hot. All right, hold on. A little too hot, so I'm gonna wait for one second. Wait for it to cool down. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna make some more. I'm gonna make more donuts, all right? So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait one second. You know, let me go on ahead and hold on. Give me one second. But yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna make some more. I feel like we're gonna make more. Yeah, I only came out a few. I don't know why. I guess I didn't, you know, I didn't follow the recipe right the right first time or something. So, where did I put? Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna pop them in here. I'm waiting for the, for the temperature to come down a little bit. Yeah, because I left, the, I left it a little too hot for a little too long. All right, so. There we go. I need them to cook through, all right? We gotta make sure they cook through, all right? So.
So I think we're just gonna make two batches. I'm gonna leave this in here. Okay. Not that big a deal. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna go on ahead and uh, and make the whole thing. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, but it's only got like a few donuts, man. What happened? I think I made a double batch before. That's what it was. Yeah, but I remember like so many donuts came out. <laughs> so. Check those donuts. Yeah, right. If it's not partially burnt, I didn't make it. You know it. No, but you know the thing is, it's like um, otherwise, <clears throat> if it's not like necessarily like it partially burnt, but otherwise, then it'll be. I would rather it be a little partially burnt than as opposed to like too much. Uh, you know. You know, uh, what is it like? I would, I would rather have it partially burnt as opposed to be, um, what is it, soaked in grease or soaked in, in fat. You know, like that's not good either. I don't like that either. <clears throat> All right, and uh, I'm over here making, you know, while those finish up frying, I'm over here making uh, the other batch. But yeah, these are fine. These are fine. I definitely had to, you know, lower the temperature. That's for sure. That's okay. Whatever. All right, so I'm, I'm over here mixing the second batch. Yeah, I feel like this one, this batch came out better here. Look, this one. Okay, let's go try these. going ghost to Koo Pooh Bear. How's it going Hanson Lodak? How's everybody doing out there? So yeah we're gonna take these guys out now all right. Pop them in here and here let me just show you real quick all right the donuts how it's gonna work here. Okay so we're gonna add Toss these guys. <laughs> we got, there we go, we got Irish donuts. Cool 
The first batch came out like shit, as usual. <laughs> what is this, a prison kitchen channel? Yes, it is. <clears throat> I know you, bro. I know you. It's all right. Have fun. Knock yourself out. But yes, man. This is one million percent in prison kitchen. That's right. Prison commissary. <laughs> Okay, so we got those, all right? Yay! All right. Wow. <laughs> all right, so we got those guys in there, all right? get back over here so you know you guys already saw you know um the other stuff that we made <laughs> yeah Christian thinks it is <laughs> all right so let's uh let's go back to the donuts all right Okay, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like they're coming out different. I don't know if it's the oil, maybe the oil? I don't know. That's right, that's right. See the grand pool bear, you know? The grand pool bear out there is uh, Mr. Trollerific over there. By the way, I got those pictures, okay, from the lawyer, so you just let me know and I'll post them, okay? I don't want to be posting your actual information, you know, on there because, well, you know, but, you know, if you want me to, you know, just to prove, you know, uh, that you paid for what you, you know, you got what you paid for, I'll be more than happy to, okay, because I got all that today, but again, I'm just trying to be the bigger man, I'm really not trying to, you know, pursue that any further because I just wanted to, to go away, but I know you don't want to go away, you ain't got nothing else better to do, so, you know, you just let me know and, uh, and I'll post, I'll post that later as soon as I'm done with my donuts. I'll tell you that right now. All right? We'll, have, we'll keep having fun if that's what you want to do. Otherwise, you know, you're more than welcome to just join, you know, <laughs> the, the show and just have fun and enjoy your life and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, get some joy out of your life. But otherwise, you know what I mean? You want to be miserable? We can continue the misery, bro. Anyways, look at these beautiful, yummy donuts. Look at that. All right. So I think we're going to let those guys, you know, we're going to take these guys out. I'm going to put them over here to the side so they can drain and let me go on ahead and finish, you know, these donuts. Actually, I'm going to wait a second, let it cool down. I think I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit more, and then we're going to get to that. Gizmo! Giz 
smoke. Gizmotronic. Gizmotronic. All right, so let's go on with the last batch of donuts. Little donut holes. these donuts that we just finished so we're gonna bring them over here real quick shout out to you guys out there gizmo gonna have donuts no so these came out way better all right these came out like a million times better look at that all right we just need to you know but yeah these came out very different to the ones that I made originally I don't know if the recipe changed or what whatever I wonder if it's the oil. I feel like something's a little different. That's okay. You know, this happens all the time with recipes. No big deal. All right, so whatever, we got that. Oh, hot, hot. All right, we're gonna let that do its thing. So we, we're gonna have green donuts in many, in many flavors, okay? So these are the, the dark green donuts. <laughs> Now we're gonna make the light medium green donuts, all right? And then last, we're gonna go on ahead um, with the last donuts. All right, so let's just have more here. Yeah, these, like I said, these donuts are really good. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you can't go wrong. You already saw the ingredients. I'm gonna cover these guys up a little bit more in a second. So yeah, again, you know, I'm just tossing them here. All right, tossing my, my donut salad, all right? My green donut salad. Bruh. Okay. Okay, we got the green donut salad. Look at that. I mean, we just got the green donut. <laughs> Anyways, look at that. So far, so good. We'll get the other camera in a second. You know what I mean? As soon as we're done there. Okay, let's uh, flip it back over there for a second. Donuts look great. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right. That's right. Green. <laughs> Those are green Hulk. Turds. That's what Christian called them. Yeah, these look a little better. Okay. But yeah, like, they look a little different. I don't know, I guess I just haven't made these in a while. But, whatever. It's all good. They look good. I mean, they look fine to me. They look great. You know what I mean? But yeah, they're like little fritters or something. I wonder, you know, maybe we can add some apples next time or maybe some bananas or something like that. But I, I highly suggest you guys try this, the donut recipe, they're really, 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 really good. I highly, highly recommend them. All right, we're almost done there. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this, uh, the green sauce poured on top of the, the donuts. You know, get the green icing, green turd icing on it. <laughs> they look, they actually look pretty good. They look funny. We're not done though, we got more. Hold on. You'll see what I mean. I mean, you know, we still got like a little bit left here. So now, we're gonna get some sprinkles on these bad boys, all right? 
So the rainbow, you know, for the rainbow, to signify the rainbow. Look at that. <laughs> here, I'm, here, I'm gonna show them on the other camera here. Let's uh, switch. Look at that. Can you see it? What I, what's going on? No, oh, there you go. Hold on. Let's try it again. <laughs> Safely, you know, safely, please. All right, Jesus. I'm the worst. Anyways, all right. They literally, right? A lot of, a lot of motherfuckers out there literally think I'm the worst. <laughs> I'll never understand the. Uh, you know, the whole mentality behind uh, blaming other people for your problems, you know what I mean? But hey, it is what it is, man. You know? Salute. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, we're basically done with the donuts there. Um, they're amazing. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to go on ahead and add the rest of this in here. Okay. So you guys already saw um, Christian try out the stew with the Colt Cannon and it was amazing, it was delicious, it came out beyond amazing. Okay, so the last batch came out the greatest. You know, these, these actually came out awesome. Um, the first batch burnt, second batch not really that burnt, <laughs> less burnt, <laughs> and then these were perfect. Okay, so let's uh, go on ahead and, uh, okay, so we got three types, you know what I mean? I guess you could say we got chocolate, peanut butter, and vanilla. <laughs> but yes, you know, sprinkles do make everything better, you know. Maybe some people out there, they just need a, like a whole box of sprinkles. <laughs> You know, maybe that's what people, you know what, maybe that's what a lot of people out there these days need. Huh? Maybe they just need some sprinkles. Maybe that's the only problem. Maybe that's it, man. Maybe that's why there's so many angry people these days. You know what I mean? They just need sprinkles in their life. Can you imagine, can you imagine that the world, the, the problems of the world could be actually solved by just having more sprinkles for people? Can you imagine? It's just a, you know, the reason that, you know, things are so horrible these days, you know, and people are just so horrible. Is really because there's a sprinkle shortage. 
And if uh, there were more sprinkles, we'd be in a better shape. What do you guys think, huh? What do you guys think? Okay, so we're just gonna go on ahead and uh, bathe these in green icing. it awesome all right hold on a second let me see Okay, I'm gonna go take it to the room, okay, so you guys can watch her try it, since I know you guys wanna see her try it. She's the official taste tester. Okay, so. All right, it was a success. <laughs> awesome, so it was a success. Yes, all right, so she loved the donuts. She goes, I love them, they're just green. Other than that, they're great. So great, awesome, all right, so she loved the donuts. Perfect. I think we're done here. You already know what's up. So the official taste tester um, approved of everything today. The amazing Cole Cannon, you know, we had the, again, let's just go over it. Let's uh, take a quick look one last time before we head out of here. All right. Look at that. So beautiful, so awesome, so yummy, yummy. We got the beef stew over here, the prison chow, right? We got the prison chow back there. Bruh. All right, they came out amazing. And then we have the lovely, lovely leprechaun donuts. How awesome are those? All right. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed uh, having, you know, this week of fun and games. I really enjoyed being here. As always, this is so much fun. I'm looking forward to continuing to do this and growing with you guys. And uh, you know, we're just at the beginning. You know, there's gonna be so much fun. If you guys are already having fun with me, um, imagine what's to come, all right? Remember, we're only like month three into this. We're gonna be doing this for years to come, all right? So I really hope, uh, you know, you enjoyed so far. I hope you enjoyed um, spending, uh, what is it? <laughs> St. Patrick's Day? That's what it was. 
with us today. Um, hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoy your St. Patrick's Day, however it is that you are going to celebrate it, whether you're just going to be home alone, chilling, relaxing like any other Thursday, or you're going to go out there with friends and get smashed. You know, like you're going to be smashing that like button, um, you know, for, you know, like you always do for the channel. All right, guys, you already know what's up. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week. See you on the next one, all right? Bye. See you Monday. Later, guys. Have a great and awesome weekend. You know, yo simplemente lo voy a publicar, ya me entiende, para que todo el mundo vea, you know, bla, bla, bla. Entonces, ya, porque yo sé que estaba ahí oyendo, ¿sabes? Para que lo oiga, ya. Pero sí, 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 sí. Sí, pero ya, bueno, pero para mí es cómico porque yo también ahorita, um, había, yo tengo muchos troles, sino de todo tipo, tú sabes, gente que antes de que yo ni conocía. ¿Tú te acuerdas, Ray? Ok, ok, ok. Um, y entonces... Bueno, ya yo, um, ya yo sé quién, coño, oh, ese coño, para mí ese coño, yes, al fin, porque a mí me